We are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a, a normal stream. <laughs> Today we're playing Grim Fandango. I know I've played this game before on my channel, but I love this game. I've said this many times before. This is probably my favorite game of all time. And uh, so it's sort of a tradition for me to like about every year to replay this game. And so I wanted to come back and play it with you guys and actually do some of the commentary. There's like director's commentary um, that we can do. And also I am gonna play with tank controls. So we won't need the mouse if we're, yeah. Okay, so we won't need the mouse. I'm gonna have to remember how to do all the controls. Hey, the Joker, how's it going? How are you doing today? Also, thank you for, I see Sir Jacob left me a message saying he liked and shared. So I really appreciate that, Sir Jacob. I don't think you're still here, but thank you. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. I do have, hold on, I have a list of trophies I need. There's a couple of trophies I need. There's like five. One of them is like unlocking all achievements. So that's fine. But there are two, one... There's one in the first year and three in the second year that I need. So, bad. You're doing bad? Why are you doing bad? Uh-oh. What's happened? You must share. I mean, you don't have to share, actually. Sorry. <laughs> you don't have to share. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I hope whatever it is, things get better. If that's what you were referring to. Um... I'm going to get started and yeah, so we're going to do a new game. But let me know if the everything is audio is fine. It may be a bit loud, but the music is fantastic for this game. So Okay, that is a bit loud. <laughs> Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, sir, so it could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross <laughs> the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> well. The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah -ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. <laughs> hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not, I'm not going, going anywhere. Oh, man. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. 
I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Yes. I love the stilts. I love that he has, like, little stilts. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to that. I love pneumatic tubes. If you ever um, read articles about old New York, there's a lot of stuff about how the tube system was. There was an inter-building tube system, too. Oh, really? I don't know how that could possibly work. And the tubes were 16 inches in diameter. Yeah. And they would shoot pneumatic messages. Like, they'd push them between buildings. And now those tubes are there, and they're, they're thinking about, like, using them for fiber optics and stuff like that. Hmm. That's really interesting. I, I wonder... I, I don't know. I'm very curious. Like, this is actually a thing, but I've never really seen anything on it. Can I look at the tube thingy? He's not wanting to look at tube. Okay, here we go. Tube. Pick up... Pick up tube. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. <laughs> I, love, I love that they have, like, the actual voices of the people who are reading it. I don't know. I thought that was very good. Uh, can I? Yes. I'm gonna play with the little computer. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. <laughs> Let's see what else we can do. I don't know. I'm gonna try and do like. Here's Celso's file. Yeah. Okay. That walking it's the same stick thing. Was too good for him. I was hoping maybe he would say something different, like depending on how many times you uh you hit it. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. <laughs> Maybe one year I'll dress up as Manny. I think that would be really cool to, to dress up as Manny. Although I don't know if that would be uh So this was actually the, the art test I took. Oh. I had to make this whole scene in a day. Really? <laughs> yeah. no. Did they pay you for that? What? Day? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> wow. I was so scared. <laughs> How much did you get done? Uh, I think... Almost all the geometry. Oh. Uh -huh. In some cases, it used to be an overnight render. Alright, gonna pick up the cards, the deck Better of take cards. These cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. You know what I've been doing a lot lately is like, I've been too tired to do basically anything. How do I. Yeah, there we go. And so I've been playing a lot of spider solitaire. <laughs> Didn't help. <laughs> and it's kind of addicting, and I can't stop. It's something I used to play a lot, and just because it was like on the computer, and now it's like I'm addicted <laughs> again. <laughs> I really need to get it off the iPad. All right, uh, does not automatically save. Please save in the pod. Okay, we're gonna have to save often. So this was the first scene in the game that we ever actually did um, with some test assets. So I had uh, this is when I was proving out. Okay, yes, we can do this. It was this hallway scene. We had Manny up, running up and down. We had the security cam, kind of camera switching. We had text on the screen. We had animations. We had geolocation of the sound relative to the camera. The typing was down the hallway. And we had like Manny running up and down. It was a really good test scene, and it kind of put it, came to it at the very last second. Like, literally, like, I was compiling code as people ran in the room because I had a, a awful bug. Um, but this was sort of like proof that Yes, we have all the elements to make this work. Um, this was the the first scene ever put together. And Manny, mm. notice in this scene, Manny hardly ever clips behind anything, and that's partially because I didn't have the buffers working yet. But it was good enough that when people saw it, like they were really impressed, and I was kind of surprised because I was like the new guy at LucasArts and was kind of half-assing <laughs> my way through this and somehow made everybody really impressed. So I thought, at that point, I thought, okay, we can do this. Uh, I'm trying to deal with all the cultural differences and things are okay, but she wants things to be further and I'm just not there and she's upset. Well, it takes time with some people. Well, I hope it gets better to Joker. I really do. Hey, Mockingjay! I missed the costumes already. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I gotta get rid of the, the Halloween emotes. Oh well, I didn't do that today. I've forgotten. I forgot to do that. How are you doing, Mockingjay? Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? 
What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Uh... Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere? Uh, I forget. <laughs> Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. Um... Yes? Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living... Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over, over and, and over, over again for eternity. Uh, in our culture, three months is enough time to get married. Oh, wow. And I'm... Yeah, she needs to- uh, that- that's a bit fast for most people over here. That's really fast. Well, explain it to her and hopefully she can understand that, hey, hey, that's not how you're used to it. So, you know. Doing good, got my Jeep fixed today. Ooh, oil pressure switch need replaced. Well, that's good. At least you got- you being productive. Um... That's enough about me. What's your job? Well, yeah, yeah. Enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out <laughs> if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Aww. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. Oh, Mocking Jane, thank you. I was I was also trying to get that done as well. <laughs> I'm an old doctor visiting us today. Yeah, you're super busy. Oh yeah, that's right. You're like you're like still on vacation. How is your vacation going, by the way? Obviously busy. Oh, I don't want to use that. We don't use mouse. Mouse bad. But I do have to click on. Add me another. Um, I've tried a cheap starting my face up. I love her, and if I should be enough, my sisters are taking. What? Your sisters are taking her side? That's really weird. Like, yeah, you could love her, but... I mean, I've been with my boyfriend for like f over four years and we still aren't married. Like, some people just... it's not a thing. But I'm gonna raise this, because we're like... we're like dark. Alright, now we're, now we're a little in the bright. Oh, I bet it is. I bet it's nice to be off Mockingjay. Well, I hope you are enjoying it. It sucks that you have to like spend your vacation time getting things done that you like can't do during the week because because of like work. Um, all right. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. What I did back in the fat days, four years. <laughs> We're going up 10 10 wow yeah see i love being single <laughs> it's single it's is nice because you don't have to like worry about like what does the other person want to do and like you know but it can be a bit lonely but i completely understand like enjoying being single as well <laughs> What did I miss? Hey Panda, by the way, how you doing? It's nice to see you. Oh, she can't stay unless you get married. Yeah. Uh, if you're not ready, you're not ready, man. Don't rush into anything you're not ready for. That That's all I can say. You know? Um... Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. 
Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one. Oh, we already did this one, did we? You, no, we didn't. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. How is lunch, by the way? What do you, what do you have? Nice chicken sandwich? I don't know. Don't you always have like... I don't know. I'm trying to think what you've said before. Wow, but this is the first time it's been held for review. Look at that. Fancy YouTube finally getting it together. Right, so anyways. Um In my heart though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. <laughs> Come on, I know you work for another man besides Dawn. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? <laughs> so, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Uh... I don't know if it's... If there's, like, an end, if it's always gonna, like show something all right we'll move on we've been here well, for a while i gotta go hit the bricks okay you show those bricks a lesson <laughs> so is there a reason that 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 a, that a lot of people who are in, in administrative positions of power have new york accents is that a, is that a <laughs> <laughs> everyone in the um jazz era was from new york that well yeah that's true <laughs> a lot of people don't know that <laughs> all right Oh wait, there was like another one for like a split, probably in this area? No? There was like a split second where it was, uh... Oh, maybe because uh, I switched things. I, I know what it was. Oh wait, no, there's one right here. My writing has changed a lot since this, like I was really, I was really trying to write good dialogue here, which to me at the time meant a lot of like puns and <laughs> like um, wordplay, like... This suit is just this. This deck of cards is a lot like me. It's uh, ragged around the edges, but I've got more suits. And I feel I forget what it is, but it's like everything had to be this kind of like <laughs> bon mot. Well, that's kind of Chandler-esque too. I mean, you know. But kind of, but I think I ease off on it in Act Two. I think I start writing Act uh, or in Year Two. There's a lot more just normal talking, which <laughs> right. I think uh, I kind of like a little bit more now. I mean, it's fun. It's fun to like have a crazy um, wordplay like that, but you can just kind of. Uh, trip over yourself a lot it sounds like a lot of work focus on that i think yeah I, I that sounds like a lot of work to do everything with uh like Money crazy you word play. Punch? knock yourself out thanks gets the aggressions out doesn't it i think it's a whole punch <laughs> i think there are hold on there are other like interact buttons let's see key bindings use I could pick it up, maybe? Let me try picking it up. I pressed E already. Could I take your whole punch? Ha! I doubt you could take my half punch. Aww. Alright. I'm gonna take out the cards. Oh yeah, that was the note. That's our- hold on, we gotta do a- uh... Oh wait, no, never mind. We'll do it later. Take out the cards. It's a whole punch. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. <laughs> oh wait, no, I wanted to take out a card. We're gonna take out... There we go. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Just marking cards, because that's completely normal. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Why not? Oh, it's very shiny. I missed it. But... There was Don. Don? Dom? Domino. Domino. You hear reverb on the steps, and you hear the reverb on his voice, and that was real time. It's his real time reverb in a time when we never did that. We always pre baked the files with reverb, and. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff really had to fight for, Sorry. I think it was like 5% of the CPU. But now anything that happens in this garage goes through that reverb. And like to modern game folks, audio people, it's just totally basic, no big deal. But back then it was such a big deal. 
and he really had to uh, go th jump through hoops for it, and it's so great. Hear that reverb. Let's go. All right. The driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. Mm-hmm. Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. Can't go through on foot. Oh, yeah. People have tried, but they never came back. All right, what else can we do? I don't think we can do anything else. I think those are the two the two things he talks about. Unless, unless, hold on. I haven't been over here in a while without it open. It's locked. Ah. It's like the Nancy Drew. She always is like, it's locked. I have to sneeze so bad. Yeah. All right, we're fine. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Oh, those are cars. Look at that. It's a uh, cars on an assembly line thingy. My bobber. I don't even know what's over here. Oh. It's locked. I don't even hey, know what. Who's a, who's oh. With my stuff? I didn't do anything. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Um. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha, no, 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 no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. Oh, that's kind of like what's going to happen. <laughs> If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, <laughs> black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Wait, Domino's last name is Hurley? Domino Hurley? <laughs> Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. <laughs> Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. <laughs> you want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. Um, we're gonna do... <laughs> you just have self-image problem. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> How's the audio, by the way? Are we sounding, are we sounding good or is it too loud? I have it a little loud so you can hear like the, like probably, I don't know, because I wanted you guys to be able to hear the commentary, but I don't know if it's too loud for you guys or what. All right. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again, I'm too big to drive. Um, screw the rules. Come with me. I'm doing all the wrong one just to see like what happens. Screw the rules. Come with me. No. I don't want to get in trouble again. They said one more strike and I'm out. Uh-oh. Well, do you know anyone who can drive? Everybody's gone. It's the day of the dead, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, now we cannot. You're not too big. 
The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just, just a bit. bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll... But I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. I love Gladys. Gladys is awesome. I've got to get this work order signed. All right, we'll put that in our inventory. I think there's another way to put things in your inventory that doesn't include going into the inventory. But... I, uh, Mark came remember animating that um, Gladys coming out, and he had to put this thing called a lattice on his butt. <laughs> he was like, what are you working on, Mark? Oh, I'm working on the Gladys butt lattice. And he was always like... Working on the Gladys butt lattice to like morph and squash and stretch his butt as it came out of the uh, <laughs> the door. And so, three cheers to Mark Hamer and his Gladys butt lattice. <laughs> An amazing work, still remembered to this day. Love it. I love the butt lattice. It's locked. Hey, Maddie, did you get that work order signed yet? No. <laughs> Can we just do it without? I told you I could lose my job! Manny, if I lose my job! Hey, 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 don't worry. Just go on back to work. I'll get that work order signed somehow. All right. We gotta get this work order signed, guys. I think we did all the, all the little commentary in this area. So, up we go. We'll talk to, uh... We'll talk to our secretary that's not our actually our secretary. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh yeah, like you're going anywhere. But uh, I can't find my driver. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Uh, Why aren't you visiting your family today? Oh my uh, god. Boss is here, I've so missed I gotta so be much. Here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I okay. want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't been seeing chat, and I was wondering what was up with chat. Let me see if I pop out chat, if it'll help. Ah, there we go. Okay. Chat is low. I knew something was wrong, because I haven't had anything, and I was like, there's seven people here. There can't be no chat. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with the chat. It was not loading. Snow. I'm having snow for lunch. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the first I've seen. Yeah. Hey, Delta. How's it going? I hate getting hit by double eyes. I'm sorry. <gasps> I don't control the eyes. I just put the monetization on. I'm sorry. I love this. Same. Hey, Spider. How's it going? This is like my favorite game of all time. So audio is good. Also, this, the soundtrack is fire. I love this soundtrack. I could listen to this all day. I have the soundtrack somewhere. Jeez. This is like elemental spirit. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, uh, no salam. Hello. Can fan theories make a story better? I, I, I don't know. Don't make me laugh, Carface. <laughs> uh, well, good. I hope everyone is doing well. Sorry for not responding. It's like I couldn't see chat, apparently, so. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. If I really need the boss to sign Oh, yeah, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. Ah. I'll give it a shot. I already done that. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. 
All right. So I don't is Dom's not here, right? Because Dom's at the poisoning. So I think we just need to uh, make our way downstairs this way. And there'll probably be some more director's commentary somewhere. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until <laughs> I was captain. It's I locked. love that. I love that it's like, it's like a predicting the future, year three, of when he actually, uh, he starts working on a ship and then he's like, oh, I gotta become ship captain. How's it hanging? Well, I'm gonna keep chat up on my phone just to make sure that it's lo loading. Can I... Oh yeah, I can. Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. <laughs> junior Sales Associates. There she it? is. The number nine. One of these days, I'm gonna ride her right on out of here. It's locked. Everything's locked. Oh wait, there was a there was a thing over here. Savvy viewers will note that this uh, the lobby is based on a real building in San Francisco, with Mexican Mexican oh, really? architecture uh, or Mayan Deco architecture. Four fifty Sutter, yeah, which is an actual building, which is oh, the, the inspiration for the whole business. Yeah, Hold San on. Francisco is kind of a there's a lot of Deco ish stuff around town, and that was a big part of. Uh, making this world look the way it looked. San Francisco? I locked- I just locked an open door. <laughs> Strange. But symbolically compelling, is that the line? It's something like that, is like the rest of that line. Uh... I love like when he's idle, he just starts Smoking a cigarette. I love the lobby. The lobby is very beautiful. This makes me now want to go visit the place this is uh, modeled after. I love that mural because it's the three ways of traveling in the land of the dead, the car, and the train, and the boat. There's no air travel in the land of the dead. No land of the dead airlines. Yeah, I think we can actually look at the mural too. And he'll, uh... I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. <laughs> Ganos. Couldn't remember this. Like, we'll, we'll, uh... We'll have to I'm hit it. walking on the freeway. I shouldn't <laughs> even be standing here. <laughs> Could you imagine if a car just came and destroyed him? The petrified forest Rubacava. Not really that far away. But to me, they might as well be on the other side of the world. Hey, Sushia. Hey, Leah. I'll just call you. I don't know why I used your name. How's it going? Why is Halloween over? Why is there a skeleton? Because it's the Day of the Dead. And this game is all about the Day of the Dead. I think the, the camera choices um, in this game were actually pretty fantastic as well. I don't know who's responsible for that. Was it storyboarded yeah. or... Um, is that you, Pete? Or? Yeah, probably. A little bit. <laughs> there's a, a lot of stuff got worked out ahead of time certainly and and i mean because you know we didn't we didn't necessarily build full 360 3d worlds oh i mean well except for like the offices and stuff what does day of the dead kind of do with airlines it takes place on the day of the dead every year it's like a four year it's a four-year journey and every year is like on the day of the dead it's all about the day of the dead the journey of the dead in the afterlife, I guess. Also, there is a, a little um, Easter egg, I guess you can call it, in the corner. I'll use the mouse over here. You can see a person with a purple hat. That's one of the chicks in the next year, the poetry chick over here in the corner. And I think supposedly there was supposed to be someone next to her too. That was, uh, from the... But I don't really see. <laughs> I like this guy. This guy is hey, awesome. Down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? <laughs> He's so cranky. 
<laughs> Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Spider's right. This, this song, this music. I love this music. It's so good. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. What are you talking about? Air, air, <laughs> airlines. <laughs> we're not flying anywhere. <laughs> we're gonna do Robert, Robert Frost. Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Should we get one of every balloon? Ta -da. Also, I don't know if you could tell what the Robert Frost is, but let's see if I can. We can get a close up of it. Because as a kid, I was like, I have no idea how this is Robert Frost. I think if I, like, pull it out. But you can see it's like a head. I see it now, but as a kid, I was like, what is this? What is what is this supposed to be? But it's like, this is the head. And then that's a, that's a pipe coming out of his mouth. Like, that's the little pointy nose and the big hair. And the massive chin, apparently. The clown is scary. Oh my god, I love the clown. The clown is awesome. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez, what now? I'm gonna get. We need dead. dead Heck, we need, that's easy. Yeah, we need the dead worms. We need. Oh, that one was green. There's no limit on those. That's not what balloons are for. Oh, same with me. I was like, every time I played this, I was like, I could not figure out how this was Robert Frost, and then it just clicked one day when I was playing this. I was like, I see it. I finally see it. Because before I've just been like, it's just, just like a blob of what even is this? That's not what balloons are for. Uh. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. jeez, uh, what now? Um, we're gonna get the dingo. Oh wait, we do need another dead worm. We need two dead worms. Any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. <laughs> what is this Fawn's hand doing in the left hand? <laughs> Yeah, I prefer gummy- gummy- gummy worms are amazing. I love gummy worms. Alright, we're gonna get the dingo. Kid, uh, wants another balloon animal. jeez, uh, what now? Give me the dingo. the dingo. That's my specialty. Yeah, it even has teeth. Ta -da. How do you get the balloon animal with teeth? I don't know. But that's- that's some talent right there. Look at those teeth. Look at that dingo. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. <laughs> it almost looks like something out of Purge. <laughs> oh. Alright, give me, uh, let me see the cat. My kid, uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. I think if you ask for enough worms, or, or enough of something, he, like, won't say anything. Like, he won't give you any more, or something. I think I tried that once before. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, alright? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Uh... Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't <laughs> seem to shut you up, now does it? Oh, I love it. Bang! Ah, pop another one. Lousy, bony fingers. Um... You teach me how to do that? Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! <laughs> I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Alright, um... I don't know why we chose Robert Frost for the balloon shape either. Oh, that was... that was genius. I just knew that of the, it, it would be the... hard to, uh, make it Robert Frost. <laughs> yes. And, and also because I think the, the whole implication is that the clown is way, way beyond its pay, pay, pay grade. And he has disdain for all those around him. And so he, he makes shapes that are... that his... I never even thought would. about that being a uh, testimony to the skills of the clown. I thought of it as being Manny being a smartass. Because he asked for it. He's like, oh yeah? Can you do Robert well, Frost? And then, of course, the clown <laughs> does it. But see, that well, that's a Chandler thing, too, because the detective is always is always smarter than his, than 
sort of the mm -hmm. world that he's in. So mm -hmm. he's he's teasing the clown. So for, to speak. Yeah, so to speak. Because <laughs> he knows the clown knows what Robert Frost looks like. I don't know what this Chandler thing he's talking about Since is. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Yeah, we need a little bread to honor the dead. I think P might... I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Yeah, P puts it away, but don't have to... This guy's my favorite con character in New York. He's, yeah, he's he's one of my favorites. I don't know if he's my favorite. There's so many good ca All the characters are really good. So it's like hard to pick, but I, I do love the clown. Don't feel deflated after I finish this game. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Big. Oh, there, that reminds me. There's a, hold on. If you type in, there's a little Easter egg. You can type this in at any time. Actually, let me uh, get to a, because I think it does something with Manny. So I want to get to a spot where you can like, see, I got to look up what it is though. I'll turn around because I think it has something to do with his head. Here we go. If I just do this, does it work? <laughs> if you type in, if you type in Blam, B L A M, it explodes. <laughs> Ouch! I love it. Oh. Uh, Hello. It's the eyeball. Oh wait, hold on. Does he? No. Okay. Can you imagine actually pulling yourself up a little chain of ties that are as long as? Oh, they're know. ties. <laughs> like, well, that's what's great about. And then I like the, <laughs> the view like, down. He's so calm about it too. He's like, yep, 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 yep. Many <laughs> stories. I mean, part of it is, I guess, they, he probably won't die. He's he already falls. dead. He's already I was going to say he's already dead. So it's really just. And I was thinking, does he have the muscles to do that? Or I was, no, he doesn't have any muscles. He's no. just a living skeleton. How is he moving? He's magic. It's spirit. It's soul. It's soul. animating, yes. Was that in the original? I think so. I think it was in the original. I don't think they've, like, added... I think all they did with the remastered is just, like, fix up the lighting and such. I don't think they've added anything. So. But that's ties? I never realized those were ties. I don't know what I thought they were. Just, like, little pieces of fabric. But they're ties! Could you imagine climbing up ties? It's crazy. Oh, I meant I missed a uh, director's thingy. Gotta make sure we get the director's thing in here. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. See if there's a. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. Sorry, I just have to look around. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. Let's see. Anything else? Oh. The computers in the game are, um, I think we can see Peter Chan's uh, 12 Monkeys like influence, like Terry Gilliam mm -hmm. mix of like, I don't know if you call it steampunk, but it's like a lot of analog big tube type things combined with uh, Art Deco and old fashioned typewriter keyboards. Well, they had steam and punk in those days, <laughs> right? But they didn't actually call it steampunk. They had right? steam and punk I those days. They did? Had steampunk back then. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Mm -hmm. See, I told you I was from the Mad Men era. <laughs> I'm so glad they made a show about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can go out. I was trying to... Oh! If I go out that way, everyone will know I was snooping around in here. Yeah, I love the computers. Maybe that's why I chose the the keyboard I have, because I have a very, like, typewriter looking... I, I think it looks kind of like an old-style elevator, because it's like this, like, bronze no time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. Look. It with, looks like, brown like keys. rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Oh, yeah, and you can, uh... You can I'll listen to him. just change his auto-response here. It'll have to wait! I'm in the middle of a very important meeting! Oh, but I have to, like, exit out every time. I don't think I can just listen. So, didn't I say no interruptions today? Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Ah, cripes, Ava. Just sign out yourself, will ya? I'm busy. Ava, please, I need a little more time. Tell them the checks aren't here yet. I'm on the phone. 
If you buzz me again, I swear I'll jump out this window. <laughs> Are you trying to lose your job? <laughs> oh, love these auto responses. Right, Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Uh, that's pretty great. Some pretty great auto responses. Not gonna lie. The ties when Manny uh, later uses the ties to cross over to the roof. Uh, he wanted to be more like a little, you know, a little bit more less adventure game and more sort of skill game where you had to kind of, you know, line up the ties and, and throw the lasso and hook it on the thing. And uh, I'll be honest with you, that was technically not something I was I was prepared to do in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> that sounds it was kind of all I could do to make the rest of the stuff work. So painful. Um, the uh, the ties and the beavers were, and and actually the shocks on the. Uh, on the tree where we're all supposed to be a little bit more dynamic than a lot of the canned stuff you typically have in adventure game. We just, we just couldn't do it. I'm glad they didn't do that. Cause I feel like that would have been a bit of a pain if it was, uh, a bit more into, Oh, I can go in here. Domino locks his window oh, for no. fear of pigeons, probably. Ah, I was hoping I can go in there. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go in the, We've done everything. Gotta just turn around. Sorry, tank controls. You gotta actually, like, make the rotation. <laughs> like a tank. Oh. No, I... Just drop it. Okay, we're just gonna throw it. It's fine. I meant to grab the other side so we can go down. There we go. I could- oh! It looks like the rope was all broken up there. Right, I wanted to see if he said it's locked. It's huge. I can't open it. Oh. He doesn't. Alright, so we changed the- We changed the stuff. Now we can go back to Ava. And... Give her the thing to sign. Let's go. Oh, there's a thing here. Oh, uh, elevator code. Yeah. Elevator code's the worst, man. Door code in general. So there was a door box that yeah. you would draw on the ground that yeah. would have uh, data attached to it that would trigger the art and the... Uh... Well, it's like it's like the old... Uh, like when you walk into a supermarket in the old days, they didn't have like an IR thing that was pointing at you. They had like a pad on the ground. Yeah. You would, you would you know roll your cart or step on the pad on the ground and it would automatically open the mm -hmm. grocery store for you. And it's it's just like that. Like there's a little, a little invisible box that... Uh, oh. That you cross that triggers all that stuff and then all the fiddly bits of people step on the box step off the box step back on it while yeah. the doors are opening and closing and yeah those doors are broken for a long time interesting i don't know about you guys but i love listening to the commentary it's just you learn like more about the game it's so good it's oh <laughs> What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. <gasps> oh, you're so squeaky. If I really need the boss to sign this work order, I'll give it a shot. <coughs> Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, Christ, Ava, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute with his goggles. Perfect. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! Looks green in the other. It, it still looks green. Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. 
Híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. The land of the living is so terrifying. <laughs> Oh, he got himself a nun. The living still give me the creeps. In the land of the living, the people look horrifying because of that. Have you ever seen that optical illusion where you um, you take a picture of someone from a magazine, you cut rectangles out of their eyes and their mouth, and then you turn them upside down, and they just look like demons? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. That's land of the living. Yeah. But they're not upside down. <laughs> it's the fear of death. That makes monsters of us all. Mm. No, nope, I'm not leaving here without a client. Kopa would make a set of wind chimes out of me. Ooh. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. Mm. I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. What is this crazy music? How did you get it all warp sounding? Well, that's that's a great. <laughs> See, remember that I used to when I did all the themes for for Grimm, I carried around a little handheld cassette, right? So I'd go for my hike in the hills in the morning, and I'd carry my little cassette with me, and if something popped in my head, I'd I'd hum into it, and, and it drops into a puddle. Well, <laughs> those cassettes. I don't know if you remember much about cassette technology, because you know. <laughs> I remember cassettes. You do. I made some mixtapes. They did. They didn't always last, especially the little tiny ones. Didn't last for a super long time. So mm -hmm. you know, if you used it all the time, which I did to compose, the the machine would the heads, the mis mechanism would start to wear out, especially if it ran out low on batteries. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was a that was me sitting at the piano working on that theme for the Land of the Living, which um, I recorded on the little handheld cassette mm -hmm. and then played what? it back with low with batteries that were running out mm -hmm. and recorded Super that neat. into the yeah. into the digital system for and the, and so for the game. that's awesome was that an accident at first that that's you just ran you ran out of power at an earlier time writing something else you know i can't remember i think yeah it was an accident but uh you know i kind of meant to do it too you know thank you the joker well i hope I, I'm assuming you're leaving. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I hope I do hope things get better with you and your girl. I hope I hope uh yeah. I don't know the solution, but I hope it gets better. Whether it be you know wh whatever's best for you and makes you happy. You know. Let's go. Oh, it's a there's a face on it. I just nice realized bathroom. it's not a potato. <laughs> there was a face. <gasps> there was a face. We offer several travel package upgrades if you'd care to cut the yap. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end. Two blowers popping out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. <laughs> no, wait. Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! No way to work off your time! Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I oughta... <laughs> 
I like that a lot of these these characters all come back later in the in other years. I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Cause like that dude comes back in year four, and this walking stick dude comes back at the end of this year. It's really great. Um. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Equally, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Have to watch? I don't know what that means. I guess something like goodbye, I'll leave you to it, something like that. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I need to pee. Like, really bad. I had a lot of lemonade right before stream, but I'll be back really quickly. Listen to this nice music. Chill with the vibes. super fast uh, one eternity later <laughs> I literally just came back as I saw that but as you uh the message went through what is happening with my chain I think I'm getting stuck on the thingy there we go we're, we're, we're not stuck on thingy anymore all right <laughs> Let's go visit Dom. If if I can walk in the room, I think I have to press enter. I don't think I can just walk in. How is he sweating without skin? It's so inaccurate. <laughs> Try to get it really accurate with the punching. You know, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. I think that's how you do it. Oh, le is left. Well, you don't just do one, two, one, two with the speed boggles. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it looks it looks better. In my boxing history. My grandpa used to have a bo boxing bag in his basement and he showed me how it worked once. Talk to Dam. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? <laughs> Shows up to scare me. No. Do we do, I got two nuns, or do we do, I got a mean midget? I had to send parcel post. I kind of want to do the mean midget. I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss with no lips? <laughs> Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, huh. how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. 
That's really interesting. I never realized Manny didn't know what he's done to get like stuck here. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. <laughs> Does who work for FedEx? <laughs> the uh, Domino, the one punching the thing. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I don't know if we ever find out what Manny did. Because Ma Manny supposedly doesn't know. He just said he didn't know, so... If he doesn't know, I don't know who would. Unless if he finds someone who he knew in, like, the real world. But I don't think he does. I think everyone he meets here is, like, unique to this world. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> <laughs> why do you say he works? Uh, why are you asking if he works at FedEx? Because <laughs> he's beaten that. He's beaten the bag. I think we should team up, be partners. Oh. Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no. Not the Christmas party all over again. Oh, no. What happened at the Christmas what party? What happened at the Christmas party? <laughs> Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath. So I'm gonna blow. It's always a pleasure, Cal. <gasps> oh man, let's just uh. So there's a scene here. So th so there's the um, the wine bottle there on the side, or sorry, the uh, the bourbon bottle. Oh, um, it's bourbon. And there's the taking a slug of the of his booze, and that was actually like I, we had lots of math problems early in the game where we were lining up lining up um, camera angles, like you mentioned, and um, these these camera angles. If we had it off between the real time and the pre-render stuff, things got kind of messy. And so that was one of the first scenes we had where Manny, as one character, goes and interacts with another item in the scene. And it also has to be placed very precisely in the scene because it has to appear to be on the shelf. And it was really difficult to coordinate. You know, He has to walk to exactly the right spot, line up to perform his animation. The cup has its own animation of flying through the air to his mouth. There's all these weird ways we handle it. I think we, we we changed that later to to handle it better, so the cup is actually attached to it. We can swap it in, but you know, blank out the one that was on the shelf, put in the one that was in his hand, like the magic trick. But originally, that was something we used to test it out, and make it work. And it was I remember spending days on that and just being worried, like, oh man, we're never gonna get this to align perfectly between 2D and 3D. One month, what? <laughs> Own face. <laughs> Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Oh. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Oh, man. Screensaver password? He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. He has a lock, too. Nobody trusts him. All right. There was a... I think there was a director thing over here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, something... I remember something about the the mural. This would be the mural. In, oh, yeah. Uh, what's that guy's name? The... Uh, the, the nemesis this uh, office and domino domino the, yeah the mural on the ceiling of domino's office uh is uh there was some something i think it maybe that um that angle wasn't planned or something in the in the game and then whoever did the textures for that room put this crazy mural on there and so it was like oh we have to we have to show the mural we got it we have to get that up there there's i remember there was some sort of fiasco around that mural usually it's the yeah. other way around yeah. usually artists put a bunch of beautiful work into something and then someone turns the camera the other way and doesn't show it right exactly and this kind of makes me want to like get into developing <laughs> games like some of the stuff they were talking about it's like i thought that would be fun no use for it but I, I don't have the I don't have the skills to do such things. Why am I in here? Is there something in here? Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. I don't need to be in here yet. I need to go get. Uh, we need a nun. I think is what we've determined. 
Oh, but this is the wrong spot. That's okay. I kind of want to go visit Glottis. If he's here. I don't know if he's here. I think he's... I think he's actually gone. It's locked. This sign says, I'm at the junkyard. Woo! <laughs> Okay, I don't know where Galata other than at the junkyard, whatever that means. Alright, we went the wrong way. I'm gonna go this way. And oh yeah, we 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 haven't met the no, meet never this guy. This guy! Uh, you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. You know, I just realized, I think every character, except for the clown guy, comes back in a later year. In this game. Oh, let's go lock an open door. You know, the games we make nowadays, we try to keep them real time and the environments. I don't think we uh, can actually. In the t we'll come in in the tens of thousands of polygons probably, but, uh, or at least under a hundred, I would say, at least at the Telltale Studio. But um, here, they, I think we're almost unlimited unless it crashed the machines all the time. Yes, it, it was unlimited, and it was like trying to render it on your iPhone. Well, remember, all, he modeled like every single nut and bolt everywhere. Yeah, that's what it was. That's yeah. what, and they were all high res. Yeah, I was about <laughs> to say, a certain amount of this was us not it really might knowing, get close and us not being efficient about <laughs> where we, uh, how we set everything. As an animator, when you open one of these environments to animate in, you have to basically throw everything away, except for the one thing that, <laughs> that Manny touches or walks next to. So who I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. I think this music's a little loud. I don't think I can okay, we're just taking it. Don't worry about it. If you don't take it, he'll there will be a sec can I get out? There we go. Alright, the music's less intense. Alright, we gotta go in this room. And we gotta- oh, nope. That was a bit weird. Down in QA, we got on the project way, way earlier than we ever had on any other project. And we would play the game with the concept art on the screen. But Manny was modeled and done and lit. Or, well, maybe he wasn't lit, I don't know, but he would zoom around the concept art. And it was all black and white. And uh, that's why I was. Oh, that would be neat. Yeah. Hmm. So, wait, hold on. What is it? I'm not getting that stuff all over my hands. <laughs> it's the packing peanut stuff. Yeah. Uh, that smell. And I think he can. Oh. <laughs> all right. So we take the two. What's your mating keys? The worms. And we fill each of them with the... The special stuff. And then we're gonna put that down the tube. Poor, poor uh, engineer dude that's gonna fix it. I don't think I can do anything over there, huh? No. Right. And then we go up to our office. Actually, let's talk to Ava. See, did we talk to all Manny, of them? If you don't oh, mind, yeah. I've got a lot of filing here to do. Okay. Right. I do watch you. Yeah, we talked to her about everything. Okay. Go. Oh. And then we take... Uh, I, I went the wrong way. We take one of these, and we just stuff it in. <laughs> Look out below. 
and is, okay there we go so it's like it's taken a long time to come down the tube and then we take the other one and we put it down the tube <laughs> the sound it makes is so weird oh, and there we go we broke it that doesn't sound good. I wonder if I could stick bread down there now. I know you can before. Hold on, did we take two things of bread? Yeah, we took two things of bread. Let's see if we could stuff There's it no in. There's no air pressure. The server oh. must be down. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I, went, I just wanted to see what he would say if I tried to stuff something else down in there. But I think when it's working, you can stuff bread down there and it'll like have the pieces of bread come out. Server's down again. What else is new? Manny, if you don't okay. mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. We should probably save just because we haven't saved in a while. I will just save there. It's fine. All right. And we go down this way. Down we go. Now we're gonna lock an open door. Hello, sir. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet yep. symbolically compelling. There you go. Strange, yet symbolically compelling is the the rest of that line. This uh, this line that he says a lot actually comes from the old IT guy at LucasArts. Where he, we say, hey, the server's down. He goes, the server's not down. It's never down. You just can't get to it right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. Oh, dear. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. <laughs> so how long is it going to be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors <laughs> and put me out of work. That's funny. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Cathy. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. <laughs> I've got a lot of tubes to flush here. <laughs> Look at that butt. Oh, okay. Not again! <laughs> you trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Yeah, if you don't pick up the fire extinguisher, he goes run to pick it up. I shouldn't have picked it up so we could do the little animation, but oh well. Alright, but now we just need to wait for him to leave. Good enough for government work. <laughs> Good enough for government work. I love that. I love that line.
All right, and now that he's left, we can go right back in. <laughs> Just moonwalk back in. Oh dear, that was very strange. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. It's locked. All right, so we take the card. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, 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 aha, positive attributes, volunteered time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Yes. Why is he holding that backwards? Is that how you hold a scythe? Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> He's got a little eight ball for the sh gears shifter. Let's go. Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. <laughs> sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. <laughs> Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I- Just stop right there. <laughs> Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. <laughs> There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. I love his response of, there's no skin on it either. <laughs> Litter? Oh man, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. All right. I just don't understand it. Why can't I find anything good for Mechi? Right, go on. Oh wait, hold on. There's a there was a new thing. This is one of the scenes where we had uh, Tony and um, uh, Maria Canals uh, in working together, and. Uh, they're both uh, from Cuba, and they both uh, had worked together before um, they were cast in, in uh, oh, Grimm. I didn't know that. So it was kind of fun to get the two of them together again and, and uh, play off of each other, which is, of course, the way you'd like to do any game. Yeah, and I think if I talk to her again, I don't think... I'm still in the case, Mitchie, but oh. I haven't found anything for you yet. Maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for. Aw. If I... Hold on. <laughs> Give her a dog. 
Did this cheer you up? Eat. <laughs> um, I wanted to try something just to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> he like walks over. Like, excuse me, ma'am. Our relationship has moved beyond that. <laughs> I was just curious what he would say if he tried to to my use scythe. it. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. This game made me want to get a scythe. Just because. Just because game. <laughs> has a game ever made you want to? Probably. I'm sure a game has made you want to. I'm I sorry I let you down, Manny. Aww. I, I don't own a scythe, unfortunately. Especially when that folds. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. All right, Marky J. Stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me. All right. I didn't realize how weird it was that he gets locked into a room by his boss, which I don't think is legal. But oh, you again. know, back in the <laughs> 30s, you could do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> You know, rubber hoses for cops mm -hmm. and so on, you know. I mean, Back in the 30s? It was just, it was just uh, 50 years after the Old West. Mm-hmm. Well, that's weird to think about. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, I don't know if Mockingjay, you heard me, but thank you for the lurk, Mockingjay. It doesn't open. It's just gonna... <laughs> Ooh. Ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Hey, is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you, or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. Get me out of get here. Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Um, yeah, well, I got something they can stick in there. Yeah, well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. Um... Look, I did what I had to do. So what? You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. I'll do I'll do the wrong one first. My then... loyalty's still to the DOD, believe it or not. Hmm. Good boy. You just keep up that spirit and I'm sure you'll get out of here soon enough. Oh no, come back. Come back. Hey, guard! How's my little Count of Monte Cristo? <laughs> no, really. Who are you? I'm a fellow prisoner, my friend. Maybe, but your cell's a lot bigger than mine, jailmate. Um. What are they gonna do to me? I don't want to alarm you, Agent Calavera, but have you ever seen a man sprout it? Oh, no, I don't go to those parties anymore. Yeah, I think it was during Pledge Week. I saw. 
This boxer get a really bad cauliflower influence. <laughs> uh no, I don't go to those parties anymore. Then you don't know. There's nothing more horrible than the bite of the sprouter. Its deadly stinger spreads a green disease through every calcified pore on your body, leaving you veined with roots and flocked with grass, steadily growing thicker and thicker until you crash and bloom out in a horrifying bouquet of pain and fragrant suffering, screaming until your mouth fills with petals and your nostrils oh. shoot out thorny stems and the bulbs sprout in your eyes, leaving you nothing awful. but a patch of wildflowers on the ground swarming with butterflies. Are you done? Yes. <laughs> I've never seen that. No, I've never seen that. Tell me the sprouting story again. Tell me that sprouting story again. It's not a bedtime story, Manuel. There's nothing more horrible than the bite of the sprouter. Its deadly stinger spreads a green disease through oh, we have every to listen to it again. pore on your body, leaving you veined with roots and flocked with grass, steadily growing thicker and thicker until you crash and bloom out in a horrifying bouquet of pain and fragrant suffering, screaming until your mouth fills with petals and your nostrils shoot out thorny stems and the bulbs sprout in your eyes, leaving you nothing but a patch of wildflowers on the ground swarming with butterflies. I love that story. <laughs> I love that story. <laughs> oh. I don't want to do the right open the door thing yet. Me, amigo. If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song. I know. All right. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm going to blow up the love. Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. I don't think the, the others Limones would have and guest. done anything. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. Yes. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel. Like, like babies. babies. <laughs> What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Yeah. All right, let's... It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. I mean, you open it. <laughs> There's some concept art there from the PowerPoint. Yeah, yeah, because I remember. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. took Peter's stuff and like inverted it to make it look like a like a like a plan. Oh, really? You took someone else's textures and reused them. A uh, great oh, artist okay. borrow. Oh, no wait, uh, <laughs> good artist steal. Um, yeah. <laughs> Manuel, I was looking at that. I love that you can just shut it off for. Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? I'm not a joiner. Just pop the hatch and let's part friends. I'm sorry, but this is war, Manuel. And you are the first draftee. I really like him. He's also a really good character.
just taking care of the bot really quick. Sorry about that. Alright, bot taken care of. Uh, Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their mm. tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. Precisamente. So beautiful. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. Eighth underworld. What do you want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. Pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. It's egg time. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! <laughs> All right. Oh, the secretary has a dual identity. Always lots yeah. of fun. Always lots of fun with dual identities. Yeah. I like that Eva gets to have a little, like, um, she's got more going on than you thought she did. I love that, yeah. too. And I like that there's something fishy in the Department of Death, too. That's a, that's a <laughs> good twist. Yeah, I love it. So it's you're so not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Ava, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Uh... Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? Man. How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. So, you won't help me out of it. Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. <laughs> All right, so we need to get teeth and pigeons. So let's go do that. I'm actually gonna go, I wanna see what happens when I try to walk in the building. I'm sure he says something. Hold on. See if you, uh... I'm not going in there. They still think I'm locked up, hopefully. Yeah. I wonder if we could talk to the, to the, um, this dude, if he'll say anything different. I don't know. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? All right, so one of the, one of the achievements I need is with the pigeons. So we have to scare the pigeons with, or intimidate the pigeons? Intimidate the pigeons. And I think we have to do it with Robert Frost. I think we have to get Manny to say, run you pigeons, it's Robert Frost. So, um, as soon as we get up onto the roof, 
I oh. always liked the music up at up, at the up on the ledge. Me too. It's it very it, Her- Bernard Herman. And it made vertigo. me. Feel, it always made me feel like a little. Maybe I ha- it's because I actually have vertigo. a little more bit of vertigo or whatever you say. No, vertigo is not the thing. That, yeah. that happens a lot in Vertigo, the movie Vertigo. Like the, um, yes. Na, 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 yeah. na, na, yeah. na, na, Has anyone seen the old movie Vertigo? That. Like that dreamy falling sensation. Well, I'm a huge Bernard Herrmann fan. How can you not be? He's, uh, he's really the... He was the guy who really brought um, kind of a serious... Seriousness of classical music to to uh, scoring. I mean, the guys before me, there were great composers before him. They were a little more sort of kind of the entertaining aspect of orchestral music, and I think he was really very serious about it. I thought Vertigo was Alfred Hitchcock. Who is Bernard? Who is this Bernard person they're talking about? thought oh it's i need to get vertigo movie film it's a uh, 19 did it say 19 1958 film director was oh the musical composer was bernard herman that's who it was the director was alfred hitchcock okay bernard herman is a composer which makes sense it's locked it's locked it's a pigeon mm, tom's office is empty I want to say I've seen Vertigo a long time ago, but I don't actually know. I've seen a f- quite a few Alfred Hitchcock movies. I like I like Alfred Hitchcock movies. I'm gonna try to guess his password. Nope, it's not Golden Boy. I'm think, gonna try to guess his password. I think he tries different things. If you uh, if you do it multiple times. And it's not Mr. D either. <laughs> Mr. D. Imagine your password being Mr. D. So much for Dami. <laughs> what terrible passwords seems would have been. Arrogant fraud doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Ooh, I was scared it might be Eva. <laughs> Well, he likes boxing too, but that ain't it. I don't know how many different ones there are. Not greed? We're just gonna... Not vanity. I'm just gonna keep doing this until... Until he, uh, loops. Not sleaze. Or stops. <sighs> I okay. give up. Yeah. That's funny. I don't know if I've ever gone what through all the- of them. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. We got the oh, we got the glowing coral, and we were walking, walking on air. Gonna grab the milk piece. Boom. Give me that disgusting thing. Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? <laughs> All right. Um. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. All right. I think that's all we need from his office. So hopefully we did everything in there. Now we're gonna try to get on the roof, and we're gonna hopefully be able to get this uh, pigeon trophy. Nope. I think I, I have to pull it up first, I think. And then we can tie the... And then we drop it? I think we just... Yeah. Oh, he... Okay. I didn't have to do anything. Alright. Now... I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. <laughs> sure. Why not? Can I... Oh, please go the right way. Oh, no, we're not going the right way. All right, we're going to go up again. Go up, Manny. Are we going up? Okay. (laughs) I thought it froze for a second because he wasn't doing anything. I am going to save. 
it's probably a good time to save. I'll just save in the same slot. It's no big deal. Bye. Yeah, there we go. Fly, Minnie! I love the story that the director tells here about the bird poop that he had to clean off of a... I'll let him tell it, but... I used to work at a doctor's office, and mm -hmm. one of the jobs that I was doing, just terrible jobs there, and one of them was the roof was covered in, like, six inches of uh, pigeon guano up there. Mm. They had a flat roof, like the roof of this building, and... Um, and they're like, look, we got to get that stuff off the roof. It's really, it's going to break the roof. There's so much pigeon crap on the roof. Mm. And I had to go up there with like this flat shovel and cut. It was kind of like cutting brownies out of a pan. Yeah, so yeah. I was just chopping up the bird poop and just scooping it up and throwing it off the roof. And, um, but in, in chopping it up, I occasionally find like, like in sedimentary rock, like an archaeologist or a right. paleontologist, I would find the bones of a dead pigeon just inside this weird brownie of guano on the roof. Wow. So I had my fair share of bad jobs. So this this really this was really a w kind of therapy to get that. Yeah, but I'm really just not experience. enough poop on the roof to make this really. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard to indicate that with um, the uh, technology of the time. Oh, kind of just like if it's like if you did wind in, in you know in a in an eight bit game, it just sounded like <laughs> and uh -huh. just sounded bad, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. At least I got, I got to clear the pigeons from the roof of my memories. <laughs> All right. So we gotta scare. Oh. Hey! How am I supposed to scare the pigeons with? Watch it! Am I supposed to like press enter? Oh yeah. It's rubber frost. There you go. Okay, we said the line, so I think we got the trophy? Cause he said the line. Run you pigeons! It's rubber frost! Let me double check. That we uh It didn't pop up, so I think so, because I think it says yeah, we just got it. Yeah, I see it. Run, you pigeons, it's Robert Frost. We now I have four, four left. Alright, so the way you do this is you put down... Maybe that will scare them. Eventually. And then you take out your bread. If I could... I was on the bread. There we go. And then you... With the bread. that aren't nailed to the roof. <laughs> All right. And then give me my eggs. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Well, that's weird. It only just now changed. That's... Man, are those pigeons gonna be ticked. Wait, hold on. I think he says something with the... Uh, if you are holding... Oh. 
And now we gotta do the teeth thingy, if I could get to the inside here. And we're almost done with... Well, we still have the Petrified Forest. I don't know, this area always felt like year one, and then the Petrified hey, Forest with Gladys? was uh, always kind of like a thing on its own. When I played this as a kid, I think the farthest I had made it when I was very young it was always the Petrified Forest, and then I'd restart the game. What am I doing? I'm looking for uh, this. Let me do the goop. And then we stick it on our mouths. Till a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Gross. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and left quite a chalky aftertaste, too. Alright. Heading in there. Agent Calavera, and two guests. guests. Okay. Give the... Give... Okay, we're stuck. <laughs> Give the pigeons... Oh wait, what was that? Was there... Oh, no, I thought there was one we hadn't done. But I think we're good. Alright. Mr. 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 Sir. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you. Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. Alright, now we need to give her our- wait, can we talk to him again before we give it to her? Because that'll give us a cutscene. I'm back. Unlurk. Welcome back, Mockingjay. Look, you got the eggs you wanted. Now can I go? Sorry, but your teeth. The revolution depends on your teeth. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> Viva la revolucion. I love it. Alright, so we give her our teeth impressions. Hey, Ava. Take my teeth. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. Yeah. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now... Imagine Let me be of service to you. Imagine you doing must go teeth. to the town of Rubacaba, okay. my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the ninth underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket She's out my of here. She's my ticket out of here. Yeah. Just climb out a tree very casually. Nothing suspicious here. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. Let's go. Today you bought... Oh, that reminds me. Today I bought some Reese's. Pumpkin peanut butter cut 75% off. Nice. I went to uh I went to what a Halloween store yet lot yesterday to see if um there was anything, but like the supply was like it was like really low. There wasn't really anything. There was only like one thing, but today was or yesterday was 25% off at the place, and I was like, eh. 25% off something that was like $25. It really wasn't worth it. It was just like a skirt. It was uh, one of those poodle skirts. And I was like, eh. But. And some Day of the Dead cookies. Oh, that sounds really good. What kind of cookies are they? That line right there. Love. Love is for the living. 
I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. That was the key line um, that Tony and I would always go back to that kind of identified who that character was. The idea with Manny being a Hispanic Humphrey Bogart, um, that line evoked Casablanca in many, in many ways. And um, uh, that was kind of just, just we worked on that line <laughs> more longer than we should have. But it was just one of those that we just felt was important to kind of nail and, and uh, help define Manny. And you could see yeah. Pete's musical treatment of it. He he kind of suspended the music and had this little classical guitar uh, melody that, that had a feeling of, of being like a pocket in time to further highlight that line. Right, right. Yeah. Sugar cookies. You got so much sugar now, Mocking Jay. <laughs> After all I did to get out of town, I am never going back to that place again, at least not without Mitchie. Right. Yeah, that line is always like really important. And always it's so beautiful. Just I don't know, the whole thing. <laughs> now we gotta deal with the crying Gladys. Gladys, sorry. Gladys, my friend. Why are you crying? Manny? Oh Manny! They fired me! <laughs> Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddie. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods. Gladys, <laughs> what have you done? Oh, I love it. Oh, Gladys. Walking Jay walking. It's the spiders. They're like flying spiders. I don't know what these things are, but they're freaking ugly. Oh, now we have a. I always like Gladys um, because he's just so pure in his. I mean, he he's by definition pure in that he's just a spirit of driving, mm. kind of like mm -hmm. he was summoned from the land, of, uh, land itself, and mm -hmm. he has no. Uh, nothing but given nothing but a desire to drive and go fast and all his motivations are about like um, moving at high speed he almost dies because he's going too slow at some point and he has to go fast right. again to come back to life right but he also obviously cares about friendship and Manny and uh, he's a very loyal character I love Plotus wake up buddy alright we gotta go fix him we gotta go get his heart oh no Ooh, uh, ick. Shoot! Took midnight for a walk during trick or treat. She had her candy corn dress, yeah. And I got a lot of candy from the neighbors. <laughs> oh, I bet they loved it. It was so cute. Absolutely adorable little dress. This is me playing with my own worst fears. I was realizing while we are making this game, I just randomly was thinking about how nice it is that spiders can't fly. Mm -hmm. You know, with spiders, spiders are kind of icky, but they're on the wall. You can stay away from them. Don't go in the garage. Don't don't get fire or whatever. You can stay away from spiders, <laughs> but what if they could fly? What if you had to, instead of like a bee buzzing around you or something, you had to worry about like a, there's a black widow. Like, wouldn't that be creepy? So we made flying spiders in the game. Uh, including when you're stashed of Oreos. We're just gonna stash a bunch of bones. Speaking of stashes. Soup's on. But yeah, now you have like, you have so much sugar. Oh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. It's the flying spiders. Wait, I wonder if he says something. Hold on. Can I put this away? Other than the bone comment? Uh, it's stuck in there good. Yeah, okay. Then I can take the the scythe. And we fling. Four spiders. No more demon heart to eat. Oh, I love it. Oh, the petrified forest is so creepy. <laughs> He's just sleeping all nice. It's still beating. 
Did I put this in my it's still beating. Inventory? This belongs to Gladys. Nowhere else. No, it won't let me put it in my inventory. This belongs to Gladys. Nowhere else. I was kind of hoping we could uh put it in the inventory and get a closer look. Heart! Heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong. Beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? <laughs> oh no. Down to one Kit Kat. Mr. Lamaz, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living. That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad, but not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, uh -oh. not until now. Hector, no! There he is, being sprouted. Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Mark and Jay, you're gonna have to get more Kit Kats. Did they not have Kit Kats at the store? For, uh, for cheap. Oh dear. Sorry. Alright, let's go... Is it this way? Yeah. We gotta fix the tree. Híjole, mano. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. I remember in this room, as in several others, Julian, we we used a sound ambience that we recorded uh, using a contact microphone on various machines, like Coke machines, uh, and other vibrating devices or machine-like devices that produces a kind of interesting hum. And if you put your ear up against a Coke machine, or I was just on the Golden Gate Bridge last week, and stuck my ear up against one of those, you know, 300, 200 nice. foot pylons and it's amazing the, the resonances that are going on uh, in those type of resonant bodies. And we would record things like that and cr turn them into ambiences for some of the, some of the rooms. Well, we gotta get, so the goal of this one is to get the... Yeah, I'm gonna get it like that. All right, now how do I drop? Okay. Now that the tree is unbalanced. Gladys, what are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy! You worked all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The marrow of these trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. They is that suck what it out. El Maro? Huh? Never thought of that. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, it's called Maybe El Moro. So. That makes sense. This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. All right. I don't think this. This place gives me yeah, the creeps. Yeah, there's nothing else. I'm ready to go when you are. All right. So now that we have that, if we turn it off, and then we're gonna turn it back on. No Kit Kats on clearance. Oh no. That's because everyone probably Ooh, took it. Careful, Manny! With it's... the harmonic balance it turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shots out of them for the bone wagon! Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. 
There's probably no Kit Kats because Kit Kats are like the best of all the candies. You know. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. All right, now we gotta we gotta turn it on. Swing, baby, swing. Hey, Benny, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's go. Until now, we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on, we soar. Like, like eagles. Yeah. Like eagles on pogo sticks! <laughs> That's so great. What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? <laughs> All right. Now I think there's a way to hold on. How do I? Is there a way to lift? Okay, no. I'm pretty sure there's a way to lift the the vehicle, but I don't. I think I'm getting in now. Can I exit? Nope. We're just getting in. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. He's walking around in a circle. <laughs> He's walking all the way around to the other side just to climb in. Okay, don't do what I just did. That was bad. Is that a little phone? What is that? Printer? Okay, I'm just gonna bring this where it needs to go. Where I know it needs to go. Alright, and then get off. Oops. Actually, we'll save while we're here. Well, this is the area that Tim and I would oh, make that's another a lot person. of jokes about because, you know, producer type person, I need to shorten the game, cut it somehow. So this area, I would, you know, say, hey, we need to cut the beavers. Does that make sense? He's like, no way. Not cutting it. Oh, well, he... <laughs> The whole time we'd bite about it, and it was that one kind of thing where um, he, that was the story I told a little earlier about the ship, yeah. you know, and he, he said, let's say the game is like a ship, <laughs> and the ship is going, and it's going to keep going until it stops. And I was like, that, what kind of logic is that? It has to finish at some point. So I was like, look, the beaver's got to go, and it, they'd always be on the list. And he actually drew me um, a little pictures on a napkin of like the armadillo the beavers on fire what? and he's like why did you cut me leslie please <laughs> don't cut me leslie and he would just poke me that's so funny <laughs> that's cute yeah oh oh it's a fax machine that makes sense fax why can't i move i blocked the entrance Alright, we gotta get the sign we knocked. Just grab it. Like that. Let's go. All right, so I think all we have to do is, uh... Oh, a real cool thing about this is, like, if you go in one of these, you'll come out in, like, hey, different... Wait a second. Yeah, so you just go in a bunch of them. Why won't it let me walk to the side there? I have to, like, make this huge circle. And it's like... Oh, now I come out over here. I don't know. That's really cool as a kid. To just kind of go in circles. Alright, did we choose the right spot? Nope. It's a little bit further that way. It, I think it's closer to like where that white spot is. I don't think it's like too too far. But like here. It nope. Now it went too far. Is it the black spot on the ground?
Might be where the black spot is. Like right here. Please tell me that's close enough. Yeah, there we go. I was pretty close both times. I just went over it. <laughs> yeah. Loteria. Let's go, Gladys. He like moved. <laughs> After the animation is done, he moved. Just I never realized that. <clears throat> Come on, Gladys. Gladys. Keep calling him Gladys. That's fine. Danny, I'm scared of that sign. This is like a callback to um, those brave young men in their jaunty jalopies. You ever seen that movie? Because mm -mm. those outrageous young men, their flying machines. No, that I remember. They're these yeah. two crazy movies from the 60s, which were all about. It was kind of like the wacky races, but a real life version. Magnificent. Yeah. Flying machines, eh? And it was like one of those movies. It was kind of like a Wild, Wild, Wild World or whatever. Like it's a, a Mad, 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 Mad World, world where. Um, all these people are chasing some crazy prize, but the cars in it always had things like that. I think that is a direct lift. Like one of the cars would have these hydraulic shocks, shocks that lifted up, or just right. crazy extended. Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their buck-toothed king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell, steady traveler. Use it well. I like that. It's so good. Pick up the key. Can't pass up an old creepy key. All right. Now we just. I think we come this way. Yeah. To get to the gate. This one was, um... How could you ever cut this? I know, but <laughs> programmatically, it was buggy. Oh, yeah. And it caused... It was hard. No one understood, like, how to solve this puzzle for quite a long time. Yeah. And so I was like, look, <clears throat> you got to pick something. And we hadn't started it yet. And so this is, this is a classic Tim technique. When you want to cut something, he will start putting it in the game. Yeah. <laughs> so that... <laughs> Everything gets in. So, uh, yeah. Funny, funny. There was supposed to be a boss fight, too, I think. Maybe I'll just keep the lock on until I can assess the situation damn side. I think that every year was supposed to have a boss at the end, but it, it those got dropped because of also, like, time constraints, and I guess possibly the... It was difficult to do. I still remember writing a big justification about tank controls when I was pitching this. People were like, "Let's, let's make it so the controls are more like you, like Mario, where you push it." No, no, point and click. I was thinking tank controls. I thought were superior to point and click at the time because when you're pointing and clicking, you're distant from the screen, and the screen is this other thing that you're interacting with at your fingertips. Right, types. right. You're but saying, when you're doing tank yeah. controls, you feel like you are in the center of the character. Right. And the world is rotating. You wrote the world's rotating around you, and so when you you think. Instead of going, I want to go on the left of the screen or I want to go to the right of the screen, you're saying, I want to look at the thing to the left of me and the mm -hmm. thing to the right of me. Mm -hmm. And now, I, you know, I don't know if that was necessarily the right decision, but it's, it's a good piece of evidence that you can somehow sometimes make a really good argument for the wrong decision <laughs> and, in fact, win an argument Oh yeah, and be totally wrong. Winning an argument has nothing to do with being right, that's for sure. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's just being able to make a good case. Uh-oh. We have, we have frames dropping. Frames are dropping. Oh dear. Please come back. All right, hold on one second while I. I'll... We're like getting nothing. Uh. 
All right, I'll be right back. Hold on. We still drop. We are still dropping frames. Are we? Okay, we're back. I think it's back. <laughs> Hopefully, it stays back. All right. All right. I stopped as soon as it like was doing things. Oh, now you guys are gonna get the. Uh. All right. So as soon as it was doing stuff, so like it was fine. I don't know. Anyways, it made. I need to click on the. Oh, what are you doing, Manny? Let's go. Manny, what are you doing? Hey, don't sneak up on me like that. Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. It's the fire beaver! No, but seriously, how could you cut the fire beavers? They look so great. <laughs> Are we hyped because we're back? We are back. All right. Good now. Okay, good. Um, I think it just chases you out. I don't think it. This scene actually is uh, the beavers here. Are another good example of like you know why you have to have coroutines in games because you, you know, at least in adventure games you have to have like a script that just says how's this beaver gonna behave? You know what's he gonna do? And at the time that people were making games, you know the scripting languages weren't popular yet. You had a lot of games in the sea, and somebody would have been trying to write in their game engine, in their game loop, and go run the beavers now. <laughs> and uh, in a scene like this, uh, you had to be able to take that and um, say, this is how a beaver behaves. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm, I'm thinking like a beaver. How would a beaver? He's going to crawl over here, and he's going to chew on these things, and, and then he'll, he'll get tired, and then he'll jump over here. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the pigeons and everything else. And that, again, it's like, I didn't have to think about the fact that they were needed. They were obviously needed. I mean, that's one of the things that Scump had made very obvious. Like, you cannot make adventure games without coroutines. Mm -hmm. They didn't even call them coroutines, though. I mean, we didn't know what to call them for a long time until, I mean... Threads. They were just threads, yeah. And actually, well, that was one of the early experiences, experiments. I actually tried to make, use actual Windows threads, because this is a Windows game. It wasn't mm -hmm. a DOS game. This is a Windows game. We can use actual <laughs> threads. Yes. And uh, I initially did try and actually have different... Lua threads, and it was like, it was just so heavyweight. Machines are so tight, and it was so much overhead, and it was so complex. And it was like, no, we need something lightweight. It needs to be really focused on what the game does. I don't know, do you guys like the, the commentary? So I enjoy the commentary, but that's just me. Oh, you can get bones from here too. Oh, that's cool, I didn't know that. I always thought, I needed bones from the spider thing. You could just grab a bone from there. I didn't need to pick up five bones from the other place. They were, we were like, what is the fire? What is the flame source for the beavers? And they're like, well, they're, they're, they have a nuclear they have a core. They have a nuclear <laughs> core, so they're, um, they're thermonuclear flaming bone beavers. Yeah, you know, I have to say flaming bone beavers. I mean, you would think that would what be does controversial. that remind you of? I, yeah. A band? A band name? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got a beaver. Now to get the two other fire flaming beavers. I don't remember what the like the actual boss boss that they were gonna do for this was. They did. So they did actually have 
a boss in oh where's the fire extinguisher fire extinguisher uh the third gear kind of has like a boss that's probably where i heard it before that they were all supposed to have bosses was that um in the third year when you're fighting the boss they're like yeah there was actually supposed to be a boss in every world but that got cut we'll have to figure out when uh, we get there Get the fire beaver. I do kind of wish there were bosses. I wonder if they like, they really should like remake this game with the bosses. I, I wish they would have like added stuff, but like that, it would have been curious to see. Oh, I don't think I could swim a single stroke in that tar. But yeah. Yeah. I think he'll that road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Plus, how could I leave without Glottis? How can I leave without Glottis? Right. Can't leave without Glottis. Glottis, come back. Now can I use the key? There we go. Let's go. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it. They're dead. What dead? I would want to drive Aww. over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, Manny. Asleep. But I want a drag race. When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Aww. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. <laughs> Lot us over there playing around. We're gonna go up. We're gonna talk to the people in here. I think. Yeah, look at it. It's uh, Celso. The uh, the character Celso is played by a really funny actor called Peter Lurie. And when he came into the studio the first day, he had this real look of apprehension uh, about him. And um, it turned out. The word in Hollywood was that Grim Fandango was codenamed for Star Wars Episode oh, no. One casting. So when he was going coming in for the project, uh, people were telling him, "You're going to be going in, and George Lucas is going to be there, and they're going to be flying you up to the ranch." And and uh, he was terribly disappointed when he walked in, and the only person in the studio was me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? <laughs> You're not wrong. We did have, we don't have our, uh, pogo stick thingies. Um, what do you call it? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. I'm getting hungry already. I had lunch. I don't know why I'm like, I'm like actually hungry right now. I'm looking now. for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name. And you can take it from me. I too am looking for someone. So I watch the comings and goings around here very <laughs> carefully. Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava. So, I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, Elso. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. <laughs> it's all about that money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. Surely. I'll help you find your wife. 
What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? Weren't we all? So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. <laughs> Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Oh, uh, all that looks good, Mockingjay. <laughs> uh, I might have to go get a snack just so I can, like, survive. Because we've only... We've... At the very end of year one, we still have three more years left. So, we're gonna be here probably a while if we want to finish it. Which I do plan on finish it. This is the wife. Do I ask him if I, I don't really want to do that? I hate the way mustard spouts get all crusted like that. <laughs> it's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. <laughs> I don't think skin would help. She didn't look that bad. Bro, I'm having leftover Sloppy Joe. That sounds so good. I love Sloppy Joe. And I bet you leftover Sloppy Joe is so much better. Are you sure I can't sleep It's like in the chili. Back? There's only room for one. You know, it gets better. I don't know if that's true about, uh, about Sloppy Joe. I love the tiling floor. It's my favorite part in the yep. room. And the fact that it's a, um, automat, which was part of a period reference, too. Like, those yes. ways that you... There used to be these restaurants in New York where you'd go, and or big cities where you'd go in and the food was ready for you behind these little panels. And oh, that's what that is. Open the door and take it, which is an interesting way of wow. serving stuff. Like, just separate the server from the eater, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that is... I've never... Like, you don't want to see the wait staff, so they're behind this wall. I don't know if I've ever... Weird oh, social weird. reason. That I don't is know. weird. And I they don't really have that. automats anymore, but I th always thought that's what was behind that. Oh, it's, it does seem a little impersonal, doesn't it? They have something similar to that in China, uh, not China, in uh, Japan. I've seen like shorts of um, you can go in and you just like you tick off a thing in a box and you're like all solo. You don't have to see anybody. And when they come deliver the food, it's like they lift up a little panel and they push push it under. You don't see anybody. You don't have to talk to anybody. You just write on a thing and like they'll bring you your food. Hey, how do you open these? You wait till we start serving. That's how. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried it, believe me. It attracts the wrong kind of women. <laughs> when you run into um, Celso Flores again, mm -hmm. and there's that, Facts. you know, he's always, <laughs> he's always down and out, and he's listening to this music on the radio while he's working, mm. which is actually Hector's music. All, all of them, um, all of the, the, most of the jazz pieces are some variation on, on Hector's theme, and, and, and they're being piped in everywhere, like every, you listen to something on the radio it's actually Hector's music and it's sort of this idea that Hector is behind everything and uh, you know in control of all the pulling all the strings of of, uh, of commerce and and mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and then here's this little guy Celso is mopping the floor and and uh, with this reminder that he's just a, a little guy in a big world with these big forces mm -hmm. which is awesome does that sound too uh, no, philosophical? No, I think that works on a primal level. I don't think I was <laughs> conscious of that, but I think it was working. Hey, how do you open these? You yeah. wait till we start serving. That's how. Yeah, I never realized what that was. It looked like little windows, but there are dishes behind a little panel. I, I don't know if I finished my thought with the floor. The floor looks like carpet, and he's mopping it, but it's not. It's tile. It's just like really small tile, but it's hard to tell... Um, with it. I really wanted to have this moment of Lasco bonding with Goddess. Not they like have the, this before the we cars. We're talking about before we meet with Lasco. Cars bring people together. Talking about yeah. engines. Plus, because I never had sports. Internal combustion. I never liked sports. I was not into the manly unifier of sports. But the, me uh, neither. <laughs> but cars, you can talk about with uh, the toughest of dudes. That's true. That's like, true. Gladys, you gotta hide that car. No, all right. Just give me a few more minutes in the driver's seat here. I think. Do we have the switch? No. How do I get it to switch? 
Do I take it from him? I don't know, maybe I get it- Oh, well, I think I take it from him at some point. But not now. Maybe? Anyways. Now I gotta go walk off the edge. Watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicon ain't the quaint little pork town she used to be. I like him. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. <laughs> he could rotate him. Oh, that was funny. I didn't realize he could do that. Oh, I think man. I'll wait for the fog to clear before I try exploring town again. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? There was this one high pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I, I know. searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny <laughs> screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Mm. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog, or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? You we folks want to stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Oh, well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't <laughs> see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow. All right, Mocking Jay. Could I have an eye patch? That sounds good. I will see you when you get back. Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Sorry. Hey, hey okay. I want to see what happens if I try going this way. I don't think I... Oh, yeah. That's the way back to the forest. The spiders. The city. My old job. Let's hope I never have to take that road again. Huh. That's cool. I don't know if I've ever done that. Alright. Let's give him the picture. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She Forget sailed out about of here her. weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. Ooh. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. All right, hey, all right. Hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never, I never saw, saw her again. again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name. <laughs> but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. Aww. All right. Maybe I don't take the... Maybe I could have taken the thing from Gladys? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, maybe it's in the in another year that I'm thinking. That's probably what it is. Let's actually uh see if we can look at the book I ourselves. I can't throw away Velasco's logbook. 
Oh, I was just looking, wanting to look at it. Velasco's logbook says Celso's wife took a bunk with a hunk. <laughs> took a bunk with a hunk. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. Aw. It's all in there. Oh, Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This oh, month wow. at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in <laughs> handy, too. Mm-hmm. I love how he repeats that line. And we told him at the beginning of this year. And that is the end of year one. It only took us two and a half hours to go through everything. First year is a long year, second year is pretty long, and then three and four are not really that long. I think four is probably the shortest. My favorite lines about- one of my favorite lines is about to come up. I have it as a screensaver. Hey boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. That little line with the little screenshot. That's what I got. As a on my lock screen. Looks like a quiet night in old Ubacaba. And there she goes, walking down the stairs. And just the amount of research that went into all of this, because I just remember. Tim going to every film noir movie ever and we would just all, all the time there would be something to do and he'd like want to go to the movies and it was just I mean you can see it the dark um, shadows and then the music mm -hmm. I mean everything is just so film noir and really pulls you in yeah I remember us all going to see Casablanca and I think it was in the Castro theater or something it was, yeah. it was one of those old San Francisco theaters yep. I forget which one it was but it was the whole gang of us went and yeah remember did you guys go to the um the golden gate fields for the um the horse races i know I they weren't that. not, i wish that's <laughs> that was part of it because i think we there were some scenes around that and um that was just fun i mean just the research trips yeah those were fun there's also three um no four three there's three tro trophies we need in this area in this year, so we gotta make sure we do those before we leave. I don't know if Manny will say anything. I think... Yeah, I think we're good. I might go grab some nuts and cheese. So I have something to snack on real quick. And I will save as well. While we're here. But I'll be right back. Because I am getting hungry and I think it would be good to have something to snack on. So, I'll be right back again. <laughs>
we got some food now. We can, oh. We can eat while we play. There's also a lot of talking in this game. So we can eat on the downtime. And there's a uh, talking. Oh, I don't know what happened to his cigarette there, but. So Tim created a character, which I very much appreciate. I love her. Her name is Lupe. Oh. And she happens to be a little bit based on me and my idiosyncrasies. <laughs> and so when he, it, we, I remember one time we were hanging out and he told me, he's like, see, how can you tell me that I don't understand our relationship? Like, I can write about it. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he said, see, she's super organized. Nobody listens to her. But she has a lot of really important things to say. <laughs> and see, she we need her. And that's what you've realized. <laughs> that's so, so like, cute. Oh, I love you. <laughs> and she does karate kicks. That was the best, like, because I like to punch people. And so if you notice, sometimes, I don't know if they have it in here, but she, uh, she punches that's in the awesome. air. She does air punches. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> she was really easy to cast because I had such a great frame of reference for her oh nice thank you <laughs> no she she does kind of sound now that um now that i'm listening to it she just sounds exactly like um the lupe my chick. wartime communications from salvador he's been sending me messages like this for the last year agent calavera i have word that you arrived in rubacaba safely this is great news as your service to the lsa may now continue i am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated the hatchlings which eva has named manny and meche mm -hmm. are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause with luck my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth or the revolution salvador limones i'm not done reading it yet but maybe later all right we'll have to read all the things that mess with this thing ah lady luck le numero gagnant le sage. so this is one of the parts um in the game that was very inspired by gilda you ever seen gilda <laughs> no idea what that is um, rita hayworth no uh it's a great it's a great noir movie it it's amazing and uh, it's the scene that you always see when they show rita hayworth where she just flips her hair up and says who me uh, so anyway um this it's about a um it's set in a resort town where there's a casino mm -hmm. and the, the main character um there is a uh, the main character is working at a casino and there's this kind of corrupt local law enforcement officer who shows up every night and the way he gets paid off by the casino to not bust it is that he always comes and bets on number two at a certain table and then they always give him his money and number two always leaves and stuff and so that's i think it's the same number in this game he always uses number two he's closed no more bets please it is number two <laughs> Look up below. Le numero gagnant. Le neuf. Rouge. Empire Monk. Nine. Red. This is an outrage. I bet on number two. Why didn't it come up number two? Ah, uh, monsieur, je suis vraiment désolé. I do not pick the winners. These things are all controlled by the man upstairs. <laughs> well, please tell the man upstairs that Police Chief Bogan was very upset when he left. And when he returns later this evening, he would prefer to have better luck. Oui, monsieur. Bonsoir. I will definitely tell him. All right. Sorry we messed up your day. Like, he's like, Caesar, he's like, no. I wish you would slide down the banister because we put a lot of effort into sliding down that banister. Come on, slide down the banister. Mm -hmm. I recommend any player who's in this room slide down the banister. It's much faster than walking. Especially if you're six and you don't have terrible consequences when you hit the bottom. You should not try that at home. Actually, <laughs> kids, you should. You should go slide down the banister of your house right now. Everybody's got to do it once. It sounds like a terrible idea. Someone's gonna get hurt. How do you slide down the banister, though? Oh, there we go. Hello, Manny. Hola. I think you just have to be close enough to it, so when you go down the stairs, you slide. 
Manny, the police chief walked through and I tried playing a song for him and he yelled at me. Oh, don't sweat it, Mano. He's just mad because he lost at the tables. Isn't he always supposed to win so he keeps liking us and never raids us? He wouldn't raid us. It's a holiday. Quiet night, huh, Carnal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! Is Day of the Dead the only day, like, the, the souls can go back to the land of the living or something? No, that can't be. Because he was, he was collect- I don't know. Um, this is one of the thing the, the things we missed. We need to have him sing Rusty Anchor. I don't know if it's here or if it's in the casino later. What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. This is like so hard. Bone <laughs> wagon. I like it. You think she'll come in tonight? Who? My special lady? No, Mechi. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave. I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club. We got three squares a day. Three Max squares a day. The bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I do I like this find outfit. Mecha and help her because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. The white suits. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm <laughs> good. All right. Let's see. I remember animating Manny sliding down the banister. The banister uh, again. And I remember uh, Tim kept calling for something. He's got to look cool. And so I did that, and I don't think he was ever really happy with it. So I don't know. I got, apparently don't know what cool means. <laughs> <laughs> got to put some Ray Bans on him. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's Manny's a suave guy, but um, I don't know if suave guys slide down banisters. <laughs> maybe I should have done it slower. Well, maybe just a sip. I didn't realize Manny was going to talk. I didn't even think about that, so I missed <sighs> sort of what he said about the cold liquor. I don't think I could swallow any more metal right now. <laughs> he just, like, burps out gold. All right, can we... Can we go in the door, please? Manny? Go into the room. Thank you. <laughs> Manny's music, the Casino Calavera music, is. Uh, that was a big moment for me doing the score because it was done fairly early on and it kind of uh, it, it determined a lot of other stuff, just sort of stylistically. Mm -hmm. Get that sort of Gene Krupa thing going on in the beginning. And <laughs> Gene Krupa. Yeah. One of the great drummers of all time. This dude's dropping so many names. I'm like, I have no idea who this is. I don't know who that is. Everything okay down here? What happened to Monsieur Bogan's lucky streak? It ran out. What? So did he. I just want to have a really international flair. I guess because um, Casablanca was very international. But also, I love the game Last Express, the Jordan Fisher game. Last Express, you're on a train. And there's a lot of listening to conversations uh, that are not presented at full volume because you're eavesdropping. You're walking down the hallway and you hear someone talking in a room, but they'll often be very quiet, but often sometimes in another language, like French or German or something. Mm -hmm. And just the idea of like overhearing a quietly spoken French conversation was so neat in that game that we tried to have people talking in other languages and things like that. Mm -hmm. The croupier and the, um, the gambler and speaking French. Hmm. Madame, I, I, can, I don't know if I can talk to them. But we can talk to Chow Chilla Charlie. Oh wow, I forgot about that mural. That's that was supposed wow, to be that's really good. Oh well, thank you. I did that. Uh, <laughs> did you? Uh, no, I did. But it was based on you know like a Gustav Klimt. But then I also did those really bad textures on the roulette wheels. And, uh, oh, they're fine. Oh. No, but I remember Adam Smith actually getting angry at me. He was like, don't paint light in the painting. Who got angry with you? Oh, not really angry. I mean, he only hit He probably me. felt the same way as when Kim said. Oh, it is, kind of. Just make it cool. I just had to look up 
<laughs> What's that a boot? It's <laughs> now so not cool. I had to look up the the artist, and I was like, yeah, that kind of does look like the the Judy he mentioned. Can we talk to Chow? Yeah. Okay. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. Chow, chill it, Charlie. I mean, it is your club, right? That is a lot of like dice fabric. Chow, chill it, Charlie. Oh yes. That name comes from an actual person I know who was from Chowchilla, which no one remembers anymore, but when I was a kid, an entire school bus full of children was kidnapped in the town of Chowchilla. Do you remember that? No. Oh, what? No. A school bus full of kids was kidnapped, and the, and the people demanded ransom. And it was crazy to think about. It was on the news. It was, it was Jeez. Chowchilla. Everyone was talking about this um, kids, and eventually the, they were found and rescued, no, and I don't believe they were hurt. Mm -hmm. So I can talk about that story now. Yeah. And all the kids went home. But... Um, and then years later, I just um, a friend of ours was dating this guy named Charlie, and he was from Chowchilla. And I was like, "Oh wow, were you on the bus?" He was like, "No, I was sick that day." Oh my god! I was sick. I didn't go to school that day, and so I didn't get kidnapped. <laughs> wow! And we always referred to him as Chowchilla okay. Charlie. Wow! And he's now in the game as Chowchilla Charlie, even though his personality is not as sleazy as this character. He was a fine, outstanding, although very lucky. Guy. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> wow! But it's our P this is our Peter Laurie character. Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stops. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, mm -hmm. which I love. How did you print fake betting stops? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. There's jails. Strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, hey, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing, anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many <laughs> ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So That's no passports? Cool. No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Uh, just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? <laughs> when I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not bucks. a wishing well, <laughs> Manny. Um, oh yeah. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. This guy and too I comes back system, later. An infallible system for beating them. I'll think about it. <laughs> I can tell when you're just humoring me, you know? Um. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. Um. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. Okay. That's really funny. He says you have to get inside the machine. And make it want to pay because that's what you do in year four is you actually send one of the guys into the machine to like mess with it that's a nice suit where'd you steal Spoiler. it manny if you learn to play the odds like chow chila charlie then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday well i've got a club to run so oh yes please manny get on with your Glamorous life. All right, we can now move on. We didn't even see the cutscene yet with the 
that we, uh, you know, the whole thing that sets off the rest of this year. Keep, keep playing that. Glottis. It's Lupe. These, like, scenes are from the pr production of the game in a way where Leslie would come to me like, look what I made. I made a chart of every single scene in the game plus every single actor, and I coded it. Yellow means Manny's in it, and blue means this hat <laughs> prop is in it, and she, she's so excited about these things that she did, and this character is doing the exact, exact thing. Yep. You have to take things from your life and put them in your work, you know, even though they don't read anything to anybody else. Otherwise, well, that, that just means m work will be about life rather than life being about work, right? Exactly. Yeah. I do like that they add, like this kind. Lupe is really a good character. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. <laughs> I like that. I her. have to tell you about my new organizational system <laughs> for the coats. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? Mmm, macaroni salad. Oh, that sounds really good. There's this, um, I love macaroni salad. There's this Korean place near us that, like, they bring you out one of, like, the starters. I don't know if you've been to, like, it's like a Korean barbecue place where you, like, barbecue your own food. And one of the starters they bring out is, like, a little bowl of macaroni salad, and it is so good. I think you could ask for more, but they only bring you, like, this really small portion. It's like, I could eat a whole bowl of this stuff. It's so good. That's awesome. Macaroni salad. Oh. Well, I have, uh, I, while you were gone, I went and get nuts and cheese, which I'm already, already finished almost with it. I've been eating them while, uh, watching all the, the commentary and everything. You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night that you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes! I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Bogan looked mad when he left? Yeah. What happened? Hey, we all run out of luck eventually. Uh -huh. Careful, Manny, or you're gonna get us shut down. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. <laughs> Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Yes. Okay, tell me all the details about your new code check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even <laughs> listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. <laughs> no, I want to hear. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Aw, poor Lupe. You've never had Korean barbecue. Oh, they're so good, Mockingjay. Have you, have you had, like, Korean-style fo food at all? It's so good. So, like, the way it works, at least at the place we were at, they bring out, like, a bunch of, like, small bowls that are meant to, like, you're probably meant to use them while you're eating the meat. Um, but, like, some of them, <laughs> like, they have this, like, green onion salad, or it's not really a salad, salad. It's, like, green onions with, mixed with, like, some sort of, like, chili, spicy chili sauce. The peanut, it also has, like, a peanutty flavor. And it's, like, super, super good. And I, I could eat the whole thing, just the green onion thing by itself. <laughs> And, uh, but then, you, like, you order meat. This one was, like, an all-you-can-eat. So you could just all eat, like, however much meat you want. And they bring out two at a time. And so you can choose, like, the meat. So you're like, oh, I want the, like, beef or whatever. Or the brisket or whatever meat they have. It's so good. And you get so much food. And then you get, like, unlimited, unlimited side appetizers, too. So you can order, like, I don't know. They have, like, fried chicken and, um... What do you call it? Topoki, which is like it's like a fried rice cake type thing, and which is really good, and it's like topped with like some spicy stuff. Um, 
yeah, it's like, you should try it because they have like really, really good food. I don't know. I love eating there. I always leave like stuffed. <laughs> I think last time, last time we had way too much. We ordered, we, we would order one thing and then they brought like near the end where we we're like almost done. They like, one of them, they brought the wrong thing and we ended up not eating it. And then we had ordered, so we got like an order of the actual stuff. And I don't know. It was like we had a lot of food left over and we didn't intend to have. Because like the sides, they brought like two extra sides when they only normally bring one thing at the side. It was like, oh my god, this is so much food. Please, tell me all about your new coaching system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. But yeah, you should, uh, if you ever get the chance to go to one of those places, really good. Really good. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! Oh dear. It's the creepy, it's the creepy eagle bird thingy. What kind of bird is that supposed to be? Is it an eagle? I have no idea, I don't know birds. But it has feathers except for the head, <laughs> which is really weird. Get her, it was Mechi. The SS Lambada. That looks like a really cool ship. Man, if they make cruise ships like that. I mean, I know they make already some pretty cool ships. I never seen one quite like that though. With the like little Aztec type stuff on the top. That was really cool. This gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of yes. the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here. The limbo. But, but nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. You definitely should try. If you could find one that's like an all you can eat, I probably recommend that because otherwise I think you have to like pay individually. But this place was like all you can eat. It was so good. It was so good. That's uh, Kay Cuter. And uh, Kay was, I don't know, late oh, 70s. I think he died recently. Um, huh? And. Uh, or no, he died a long, long time ago. Gray beard. Yeah. And he was a. A raging smoker. Oh, so yeah. you'd have to break him every 45 minutes, oh, otherwise, yeah. otherwise he'd start getting into a really bad mood. <laughs> and uh, on one of those, uh, he's spoke Peter. One of those sessions, um, we were doing. He plays the croupier later on, where he speaks French and English, and it's just he delivers the numbers. We were behind on time, and so I sort of pushed him to an hour, and and uh, all of a sudden, I found myself in an argument with Kay over how to uh, pronounce 20 in French. Oh, and <laughs> so oh my god. I was like, it's definitely time for a smoke break. I'll yeah, go yeah. get out of here. <laughs> this dude was in um, the voice actor for um, the captain looking dude was in an episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. He was in, um, it was the episode where he played, he played like Christmas. Father Christmas or something in uh, the Sabrina episode. And I th think it was the one where Christmas was erased. Where she like did something to erase Christmas and then she went to like talk to him because he I remember him like he was fishing. So I think that's what yeah I think that's the episode. Here let me help you with that. Ah, there's some things a man's got to do for himself. Can I like talk to him? There we go. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. 
Let's go. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. <laughs> and your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it. But he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Um, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant, Restaurant management. management. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. I love Sabrina, too. Sabrina was like... Sabrina and Sister Sister, which would come on after Sabrina, I used to watch. We have it on DVD. Oh, man. I know it's on Amazon Prime, and I, like, rewatched the entire series not too long ago. And it's so great to just go through. One of my favorites. Like, as a kid, as a teenager, it was, like, the thing I would watch. But yeah, I don't know if you know the episode I'm talking about. I know it's- I don't remember what season it was. But I'm pretty sure she had short hair, like, cropped to here. And it was when she was, like, she must have been sick that episode. Because she sounds like she's stopped up. Need another sandwich? Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. Must have been like season two or something or three. I don't know. She was very cranky about Christmas, which is how she like, she went to a, she wanted to go to a party and didn't want to spend it with family. And so, um, she went to the party and at the party they had like a TV where they could like watch people celebrating Christmas and they were like making fun of it. And it happened to be her aunt's celebrating Christmas. And then she took the remote and turned it off. And when she turned it off, it erased Christmas. And so, like, nobody in the real world knew what Christmas was except for her, and I think Salem knew. And Salem was all talking about Bobunk. And, oh, Bobunk. Bobunk disappeared, and Christmas is about to disappear just like Bobunk. <laughs> and Sabrina's like, stop saying Bobunk. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Gladys is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a maritime union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, that's right. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> that funny. Because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. <laughs> yeah, hmm? Nothing. I'd better go finish packing. I, you do that, son. All right. We need CB equipment. Oh wait, hold on. I think we can. I never was that good at the high jump. Dang these short legs. <laughs> it's locked. I know. I locked it. I know. I locked. <laughs> Don't have that kind of equipment. I think we can. Don't have that kind of equipment. Is that all he says with the moon? I thought he said something else with the moon. Okay. Ooh, I... it's spooky down here. I don't know. I thought he said something else about the moon, but I guess not. All right, where do we go next? We're gonna go. 
Actually, let's go visit the bees. I want to go back. I want to go to the bees first. Hello, Mr. Bees. This is where I didn't even, I had never heard of actual sea bees before. And someone made that. I talked about the, how they could be these bees down there. And they're like, oh, sea bees. And I was like, where, where are sea bees? Yeah, they were they were a, na a navy thing. Yeah. And wait, does I that don't come know in what the letter CB? Like something I don't know. for construction brigade I, or something? Yeah, I good like, like jeep comes from general pers general yeah. uh, personnel vehicle. Yeah. What? So, and this bee is called Terry because of the character from On the Waterfront. Marlon Brando's mm -hmm. character named Terry. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's where we got all that stuff. Aww. That's Raphael Sparge, who... Who? Um, oh, the actor. He was actually the, uh, the main oh. character in Knights of the Old Republic um, okay. in the original game, but uh, Raphael huh. is a big on-camera guy. And yeah. Hadn't really done a lot of voiceover, and there's a scene later on where he's addressing um, all of the workers. And the thing about Raphael was that <coughs> he physically performs when he's in the studio. Oh, right. So as he was addressing the field, he kept on going off mic. And <laughs> so the engineer's like, oh, we got to keep him on mic. And so I said, you know, I said, hey, Raphael, you know, can you stay on mic? He's like, oh, really sorry, really sorry. We re-rolled, and all of a sudden his energy just went Oh, interesting. Down. Hmm. It, was, it just wasn't working the same way. So yeah. we pulled out another two mics and put them out. Oh, that's that, great. So oh, wow. then go you know, you are the fat cats of industry, and he could kind of move his head, and we yeah. still caught it, and so then we just cut around um, the three tracks to get the oh, final take. Oh, that's so crazy. Yeah. He, yeah, he's a great actor. Oh, I'd love to do voiceover. I enjoyed, I had a voiceover class uh, before, and it's like, I don't know, that was one of my favorite classes to do was the voiceover class. I feel like it'd be a really fun cold job. One, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Ah. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. <laughs> we ain't in bed with nobody. Uh -huh. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, yeah. Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh, uh the solution uh, makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I <laughs> wish I knew was like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You can't see a... Uh... Should I switch while he's talking? That way, uh... You guys can see... You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. I didn't mean to you do don't that. Know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. Man. It knocks the pollen out of you, man. It makes you weak. Yeah. Um. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? <laughs> well, we sold them to feed our families. And how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. Wait, how, if they don't have the tools... If the cops own the union, and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in Elmero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. I like how you can see... Um the other c dude's casino in the background. I just realized that. Hey, can I borrow as much as I played this. Cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? 
Oh, I guess I can. So he's giving you, you a hint. You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just Forget a dumb, it. hungry, out of work bee. Aw, poor bee. Oops. I don't. So there's a trophy where we have to chant with the bees, but I think that's after we uh, give him the book. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this music's cool too. It's locked. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here right now. Alright, heading back. We'll go to, uh... Actually, before we head back... Let's read... Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Manuel, I am sorry to hear that you have not heard from your meche. You must be patient and let your heart remain open. If it is meant to be, you will someday be reunited. Ha! He still thinks I'm in love with her. Mm -hmm. I should probably. The music was kind of loud. So I'm gonna go over here. And we'll, uh. Read some more. Manuel, we have found the head of the serpent. Using the computer access you provided us, we picked up a thread that led us to the man who corrupted the Department of Death. His name is Hector Le Mans. Once a small time racketeer, he has grown fat and powerful by robbing the newly dead. Watch out for the name Hector Le Mans, Manuel. And be careful. Dear friend, our movement now has true momentum. And our numbers are rapidly growing. Much of this is due to our communications and intelligence systems, both of which we owe to you. In light of your contributions, I would like to announce your promotion to special, special agent, agent status. I, Salvador Limones of the Lost Souls Alliance, salute you, Manuel Calavera. Yeah. You are a great ally in this noble revolution. I'm gonna go over here, because there was like... Great news. We've discovered a new secret talent of our tiny messengers. We don't know how they do it, but these mysterious birds can actually find their targets just by looking at a photograph of the addressee. To celebrate, Eva mm. has made them all little berets. Aww. I'll send you some pictures. <gasps> they have little berets. Manuel, I am troubled by reports of you buying the automat and converting it into a nightclub. It's fine <laughs> for you to be comfortable in Rubacaba for your long stay. I pray you haven't lost sight of the larger goals. It's not this world, but the next in which our true glory lies. I just got this one today. Beware, Manuel, for you are in grave danger. Ooh. Somehow rumor has spread on the streets of El Marro of your presence in Rubacaba. If this information reaches Hector Lamans, he surely will send his evil operatives after you. You must give up your search for Mercedes for the time being. And please, be out of Rubacaba on the next ship. I think he's exaggerating the danger a little, <laughs> uh, but I do feel pretty stupid for putting my name on the big sign. <laughs> Why would you do that, Manny? Well, we definitely should give a huge shout out to, to Peter Chan. And yeah, I'm still jealous of that guy. Chan just, the man. Chan the man. Know, just when, when those packages would come, it would just be like Christmas. And you, you'd open, yeah, you'd, you'd see those and, and you just think, oh man, and he's a nice guy too. You know, the, the weird thing about family. that was mm. I never experienced like the delivery of the package oh. firsthand, but I still got excited about yeah. it. <laughs> no, they're beautiful, and he's such a such a sweetheart. All right, we're gonna go into. Oh, and, oh, and I'm sorry, Garb. This is the the yeah. set that you had to build this twice. This is Garb's, right? Yeah, this yeah. is the one. He had to build it twice, the, the and it's actually giving. very beautiful. I might add. <laughs> yes. Well, the second time very is two yeah. kind. Yeah, the second time. I can't. <laughs> But I'm, I'm sorry, you, you were saying that that was a real building. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where? Was that in Spain? Uh, that I think it's in Paris, I think. Oh. What? And I remember seeing a photo of it and being oh, like, wait, Peter. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> That's funny. Another one that's just modeled off of a real building. Don't 
don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. <laughs> hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Be it, dinner jacket. <laughs> We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth, truth and beauty. Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? <laughs> no dice, Cumberbund. Cumberbund. I love it. And then, for some reason, I was always really interested in beatniks. <clears throat> Beatniks and Reds. I think it was, it was so foreign to me, like the um, the Red Scare was not part of mm -hmm. my actual life, but it always seemed like this thing is, it's hard, it's funny. It was always funny to me to imagine how passionate people were about that, how big oh, of yeah. a deal it was for them. And it was always so, but if, if from a safe distance, it was just kind of entertaining. Like, oh, wow, people are like, we're really concerned about uh, communists everywhere and unions and... Hmm. No, I'm, I, I remember there were, when I was a little kid, there were, People would t still talk about communist plots in all seriousness. Yeah. Wow. Hi, what's your name? Let's go up Lola? here. Lola. It's Lola. What are you doing here? She is this adorable. This doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh, Manny, I'm on a stakeout. I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh. Here they come. <laughs> They're very well hidden. Mm hmm <laughs> Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to <laughs> have head feelings. Her freaked out. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. <laughs> Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps. Don't start. Gramps? What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. She's the chick that I was pointed out in year one where she was like in the background near where the clown dude is. So you notice her little hat and the, the trench coat. You could tell from that. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Mm-hmm. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Uh, Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while. <laughs> she's like freaking out. <laughs> there was always an issue with her. I've always noticed that like her, th I don't know what you call that, the, not her texture. Model? Her model is like all kind of weird. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny. Read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive. Oh, okay. We he didn't even finish. Life's just, just some rapid, rapid eye movement. movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried. We, we wake. wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Uh huh. Hey, how about another poem? Okay. We gotta ashes get him. To ashes. 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 To me. To ashes. To ashes, to ashes, to ashes. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Just all two ashes, two ashes. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Girl. Hey, how about another poem? Okay, I called, I called my, my cat, cat Bony. Till she, she said, said it wouldn't do. do. 
I said, why? She said, sister, because that's what I've been calling you. <laughs> I think there's a way to... So, one of the tr was great. trophies yes, but that's the last one. is to get her to recite one of my poems. I don't know how to do that, but... You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Uh... I'm chasing a woman I once met and can't forget. Yeah. I'm chasing a woman I met once and can't forget. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Oh! Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> um, I don't think that was the thing to get the trophy, though. Hey, how about another poem? Okay, okay, okay last, last one, one, folks. Oh, this one's good. This one's a good one. With bony hands, I hold my partner. On soulless feet, we cross the floor. The music stops as if to answer. An empty knocking at the door. It seems his skin was sweet as mango when last I held him to my breast. But now we dance this grim fandango and will for years before we rest. Yeah. Always a good one. That was great. Really? This time I just don't have any more. I, okay, so let me double check. I don't think, yeah, that was not the poem. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. I wonder if I give her this. What are these? Who is Salvador Limones? Olivia, what kind of revolutionary are you? Who said I was a revolutionary? Still, I should study up. It could impress the customers. I don't know how to get her to, um, unless I have to perform. Wait, what was that? Hi, what's your name? Oh, maybe I can perform. Oh, wait. There's that spotlight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this was another, like, we lifted up the, uh, or took the uh, technology from Render Droid, which was in Jedi Knight, but uh, it didn't have spotlights at the time. It just had directional lights and point lights. So... That was actually one of the very first things when, uh, and it's first when thing I got, you did. yeah, when I got hired onto the team, uh, uh, which I was brand new to LucasArts, and uh, Tim and Brett brought me in, and um, my first thing I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in spotlights because I know how to do that, and and it's gonna matter, and uh, that that'll be my stake in the ground, uh, and this was one of the first scenes I worked on that that had spotlights, so when Manny walks off stage and you see the light. You know when he walks out of the light. Hmm. Um, that was a, it was a pretty important moment. Everybody thought that was pretty cool. I was like, all right, I did something <laughs> I'm in this amazing project with this amazing team, and I did something. It's cool. All right, let's see if we can do a poem. Testing, testing. All right, <laughs> who's ready to rock and roll? <laughs> Maybe later then. Okay. Good evening. I like to read a poem. My teeth. Bones, bones, bones. Clam bake. Clam bake. <laughs> Can it be yesterday? Scooby da. <laughs> myself. Myself. I am your <laughs> failure. The center. Explosion. Bang. Oneness. <laughs> Eruption. Wantingness. Right. Did we have? Did you have pet names for each other? <laughs> All right. B and S. Did I just get hissed? Muchísimas gracias. I don't think that's good. <laughs> I don't think getting hissed is a good thing. All right. 
Let's see if she'll. Uh... Mind if I go in? You don't want to go in. No, there. I don't want to do that. Cleaned up yet? I want to see if uh, she'll repeat. Hey, how about another poem? I'm bone dry. Flesh out of poems. Just begin again at the top. They get better. Okay, each maybe time. not. Really? Okay. I don't know well, how to get her to. Bones. Oh. Bones. Bones. Clambic. Yeah, it's the Can one it we did. Yesterday. <laughs> Scooby. Da. Myself. Myself. I am your failure. The we did it. Explosion. Oneness. Eruption. Wantingness. Did you have pet names for each other? Well, she gets the claps. We didn't get the claps. She just stole our work. Hey, you stole my poem. Consider it an homage. Mm-hmm. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Thanks, man. All right. So that's two trophies down that we uh, needed. Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia <laughs> stole the recipe from me in the first place. Oh, yeah. Man. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. I would love shot glasses shaped as coffins. That would be really cool. Let's go. In the final version of the game, are the backgrounds actually just pre-rendered flats? Yes, they are. See, that's that's yeah. amazing to me because you know we live in the world of 3D now, and we're used to floating the camera around inside of these things. But you know, once you chose your camera angle to pre-render something, that was it. There you go. No, it's it's Manny walking around in a blank 3D room with Z depth uh, data to clip him in front of the um, the stuff that he needs to clip in front of. Hmm. I'm not going to drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. Hey, no worries, Mockingjay. Welcome back. How you doing? We're just, we've just been Let chilling. Let the waiter clean up after himself. Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor, but I have people who do that for me now. <laughs> I'm not going to eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. <clears throat> oh, oh. I think it was just because it was like loading. So we can see the chick pass out. <laughs> Too much for her? Uh huh. Can we like actually talk to these guys? Hey, can I borrow this book? I don't think no, so. Dice, Cumberbund. I think. I think we have to give them the so, thing. So, uh, what did you think of the poem? I liked it. It was sad and beautiful, like my mother. I despised it. It was too short and said nothing to me, like my father. I had no feelings about it. It was aloof and licked itself too much. <laughs> like my cat, Mr. Trotsky. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, we can give a... Uh, this to these guys. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend Salvador Limones? <laughs> Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you. Manuel Calavera, a great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Uh, hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. <laughs> Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Dug on this book for a while? The way he says that. Alright, we have the book. Alright, we could go get it to, um, to the bees. 
since we have the book. Let's do do that. Let me make sure I don't have anything else to talk to him about. <laughs> What's the buzz, boys? Yeah, it's bad down here, Manny. It's like it's like we want to control the means of, of like uh, things and stuff. You know? You bees gotta be strong. Easy for you to say, Topsider. All right, we're gonna give him. I think I can actually let me see what it says first. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh. Better not show that to Glottis. Oh, I wonder if you can show it to Glottis. Hold on, before we give it to the bees, I'm gonna see what happens if we give it to Glottis first. Cause I'm kind of curious now. He probably won't let me. But it made me, uh, want to try it. I think I'm going for like 100% somewhat on this game at this point. Where we like talk to everybody. Just like on- I've been doing a lot of that with my Nancy Drew games. And like every time it seems like I- I feel like I discover something new with like pe what people are saying and stuff. Like lines I've never heard before. And it is kind of cool to like go through and go through all the conversations. Could you learn something new every time? That you uh didn't know from before. All right, go down the banister. I wonder if speedrunners uh do that with the game. Is it actually faster? I don't really want to do that. Ah. I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hey, Gladys. Talk to me. I just had a run-in with Domino and Meche. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Meche. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. Sounds good. I know it. <laughs> All right. We got to get him to sing Rusty Anchor, but I don't know how. Maybe give him, Manny. like, the Rusty Anchor picture thingy? Or something? There's something to do with the rusty ink later on. Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Maybe I like the sailors. Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP yeah. pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Awesome. Alright, I don't want to show Gladys that card yet. I want to make sure that there is, um... Le numéro gagnant, le 30, no way rouge, pas, certain, for him to red. sing Rusty Anchor before we give him the card. So, Manny, keep that card to yourself. Because he'll go to the, the place. Manny! Oh, hello. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang, I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me hear. Oh, maybe no, it's this thing? No, wait. That's ah, rusty anchor? Be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! <laughs> Actually, let me, uh... Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. See if I can talk to her? Okay, back oh, to work. Oh, never mind. Okay. We talked to everything over there. All right, let's go. I think we can go over here. Yeah. And do some stuff. Lola, Lola, where are you? <laughs> All right. Let's go... Yeah, let's go give the bees the book. 
And that'll be pretty much it for the um, bees. I think we're going to come up to Garv's set that I destroyed. That that I destroyed two weeks of Garv's work um, <laughs> by trying to learn how to 3D model. And somehow I ended up erasing two weeks of his work. Oh, my God. Because it was the, the fish place that, that you had to redo. Oh, yeah, the elevator. Yeah, the elevator and that, that place oh. with the fish. And the place with the fish. <laughs> what does that even mean? What place with the fish? This isn't the fish place. Is there not a different world? Uh, year? I think once we give him the book, we can do the chant to get the... Oh, yeah, I think switch. these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class? <laughs> hmm. What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. Look at him shaking that booty. The one bee shaking the booty. <laughs> You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Oh dear. Oh. Nope. Um. Can I talk to these guys? I don't know so if I can. So, what are you guys doing to free Terry? <laughs> mm, guess it's up to me. All right, now we got a free Terry. Free, um. What was that? He was like looking at something. Come on, don't you guys want to have a free Terry rally? <laughs> All right, um, so next, we need to make sure we do the Chow Chilla Charlie thing. We need to get rid of the Seaman, dude. Seaman, not... You know what I mean. Could you go over that part again about why I can't board? Mm. Still no room for you on board. No word from Naranja, but he's done this before. But I'm first on the waiting list. As it were, <laughs> yeah. yeah. About that union card, Manny. Oh, well, we got I that. One. I just left it in my other coat. We're getting that. Now, don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. Yeah, we're working he will. on it. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good. Because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. All right. Let's go. Uh, where am I going? Oh, we're just going backwards. It's fine. Tank controls are a little bit tanky. Um, yeah, I'll pull this. Why not? Won't hear <laughs> Exactly. Oh. Uh, we're gonna go this way to the. Oh. There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? All right. Eh. Down we go. Right, I can't run. It won't let me run. <laughs> to some extent, uh, Grim Fandango is a bit of a of a mutt. It's got pieces of Jedi Knight. It's got pieces of uh, scum. It's got I don't know what scum of... is. Uh, Outlaws, it's got pieces of, you know, it's got iMuse coming in, and it's got the Lua language, so it was a game kind of made on a shoot, you know, for all the technical challenges in it, a lot of pieces were sort of pre-existing, and kind of it was a matter of 
maybe a new new era of game development where you don't write everything from scratch, but you kind of put it together in the best possible way. Well, and one of the the kind of the the side effects of that was since uh, we had pretty robust solutions to video playback and rendering and and art pipes in front of us. Uh, it really, you know, a lot of the effort, uh, aside from just making everything, all the blocking and tackling working, was spent in on how to make making games like this convenient and producible and artist friendly. And uh, um, you know, you you had built some tools that were uh, really oh no, don't go in. Unlike the things that appeared in Render Droid or, or Smush or some of the technology that was built on. So it's a bit of a mutt in that we borrowed a bunch of really great technology, um, but there's also a lot of really innovative stuff. I don't know if we heard everything. Oh, that's unfortunate. One thing, uh, for a sound designer or for a composer, when the story is great and the writing is great and the pacing, uh, and you're just participating with it and enhancing it. Uh, one of the jobs of a composer, especially in, in, a, in a game like this, a lot of time passes, and you need to both entertain the listener and provide musical interest, but it has to also last for a very long time without being tiresome. And uh, I think Pete did a great job at striking a balance between a great deal of musical interest, but also kind of hanging back and, and taking its time and letting the story unfold. Letting the player concentrate on the game. <laughs> All right. It's empty. It's empty. Oh, there's another one. I love how all the characters have very distinct voices that match their personality and their look. Like, how much would Tim give you direction, and how much was your direction um, influencing? Well, like ideally, when you go through the process, you um, you know you have character pictures along with the audition copy, and and we would send that out to the various agencies, and um, the auditions would come back. And um, I mean, it, it kind of the process kind of does that for you because you're you're listening to the auditions and you're looking at the picture, and you narrow it down to like you know a handful of candidates, and and mm -hmm. uh, then sort of sit down. We'd sit down with Tim and and. Uh, you know, just go through them and, you know, that's, you know, sometimes there's only one choice and you just know it. Right. Um, it's just so great, yeah. all of them. Well, what you do is you you cast for, like, the, the major characters and then you use that same talent pool with a lot of the smaller um, characters. Right. And so that's why Kay is, you know, he was cast for Velasco, but then the creepy mm, I didn't want to do that. Those, it's like, okay, well, that fits, he works. So you let the actors pretty much kind of come up with their character as well when they look at the picture? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, definitely, like for this secondary characters, they're totally undefined when you're in the studio, and so you just kind of sit there, look at the picture, uh, look at the lines, talk about it, just set a dialogue voice in, and, and, uh, and then go. Yeah, just create. Oh, I love it. It's just creative everywhere, you know, like through the whole thing. Like not just with us, but even with the actors and right. stuff like that. And you really are like watching a movie. Yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely. And you really want that relationship between sort of the voiceover director, the actor, to be collaborative and allow them the freedom to bring stuff to the table and try things. And um, you know, just it just adds a lot. No worries, Mocking Jay. <laughs> I was uh, I was listening to the thing and saw it, so it gave me time to like. Uh, to do it. Oh man, there's another and, uh, one. So that guy, Toto Santos, which is the name of All Souls Day. Oh. He, that was one important casting thing that meant so much at the time. And um, I love the usual suspects. Yes. And there's a, a burn victim in the very beginning of the game, a guy who was burned on the on the ship. Right. And he's in the he's in the bed, and he's the first guy who says, "Guys, are so safe." Okay, right. He's this like, Hungarian or Polish. Yeah, guy. yeah. And we got that actor to do Toto oh, wow. Santos' voice. Because I was like, I want him to sound like that guy from uh, Usual Suspects. Oh, wow. And so if you listen to him, he's That's just awesome. like, I, just, I wanted to have him say, guys, are so sad. We can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, Toto. Como estas? Uh, not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranya here. Look, looks like it hurts. Wait, hold on. Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still. Or I need to strap you down. <laughs> Looks like it hurts. 
Um. Hello, operator. Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and. <laughs> Oh. I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. Uh-oh, what's happening? Manny is, uh, doing his own thing for a second there. I told you, Calavera, not now! Alright, we need to, uh, get the thing from the... the knockout juice. From the... um... place. But we need the chicken turkey baster. We need a turkey baster in order to get the juice to put it in his drink to drug him. Scratch ball jockey. It's strange, the characters in this game don't like to go into crowded areas. Almost <laughs> as if it's too hard to render them. But here comes the challenger. Yeah, I don't think uh Ooh, I'm not sure what I hate more. Crowds or cats. But I'm definitely not going near either one today. Right, we're gonna go up the stairs here. First. Hey! Prince Winky Taka. <laughs> Prince Winky Taka. Looks on. like a great night for <laughs> cat races. The cats racing. I always, we were always so sad that we never showed the cat races, but yeah, that was for yeah. budget reasons. Obviously, we didn't want to cut the actual cats, but I wanted to have giant cats running on track. Oh, look! You can kind of see them. And the idea. Of a cat's racing being herdable enough to race is pretty. Why cats? Um, why cats? There was a. God, I don't remember. <laughs> why cats? That's a good idea. I mean, I just remember making the music going at some point because to, to, you're near the kitty litter. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that would have been cool. I would, I would almost like a remake of this game where they do the stuff that they wanted to do. Like, add in the bosses, add in the cats, like, all the visual stuff. Maybe even add in, like, going into the crowds. Oh, hi! Betting stub, please. What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? And the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye! <laughs> Alright, we need to uh, get us a betting stuff, but we need to figure out the best betting stuff to get. How big were those when you drew them? Like the posters and the murals and stuff. We, we could actually work rather big. And we had Photoshop. Hold on, let me... Uh, we had Photoshop, but you... I don't know if we had layers back then. Or, or oh, we had layers. I think we did. Oh, yeah, we had layers, but maybe Paul only. Just didn't know what they were. <laughs> no, I. Uh, but but I think too, you only had a, a s one undo or maybe Oops. two undos. Oh wow. Well, I'll look up achievement stuff. I'm sorry, Monsieur, but here's my pass, Jean Claude. Now shut those doors and drive. Oui, Monsieur. But actually, my name is Raoul. I should have come here before we got the thing from Chow Chill Charlie because he does have like a little interaction with the guy before then. Let's see. We'll go to the, we'll go to uh I got this dude's well, I remember name. speaking of VO. I know I remember you casting this and then I remember you vanishing. Yeah. And you were gone for so long. Recording was, this? Yeah, I was down and actually, actually, it was the only one time we rented an apartment rather than stayed at a yeah. hotel What's because it I, I was down in LA recording uh, this for six weeks and then I was bookended on either side with two weeks for two Lucas learning projects. Yeah, and so it was, it was. Uh, yeah, you just moved away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a long time. Yeah, I figured this was an issue. So the one, one trophy I need where he needs to sing Ru Rusty Anchor, I cannot give him the VA. Glottis the VIP pass or I won't get the, the trophy. So I need to do the stuff for the VIP pass before the stuff to get the rusty anchor picture, I think. In order to get that trophy. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the high roller lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. 
I already got rid of that. And I can do the same to you, Calavera. Oh, there's a key. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Oh, this dude's Nick. His name's Nick. Sorry, he might have been... I think he said that already. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. A friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or, or an, an excellent, excellent lawyer? Any mouthpiece will do. Any mouthpiece will do. Then may I suggest you try the yellow pages? Sorry, I just had to say that. How's tricks, Nick? Nah. Eh. Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? Um. Someone's claiming they're fixed. Someone's claiming my roulette tables are fixed. But your roulette tables are fixed. Exactly. That's why I need a lawyer. I'll ask you again. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? The best, I guess. As long as they're excellent. What does it matter as long as they're excellent? The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? I mean, you're like the only lawyer I know, so... I don't have time for games for uh, Virago. On second thought, I don't really need one. You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do all the jobs. jobs. Yeah, and the chant one that I need is after we feed Terry from jail, which is what I had assumed. So, let me talk to him again, because he had more stuff we could talk about. How's tricks, Nick? Nah. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes. They keep themselves pretty clean. Oh, look, they have little paws on the, the floor. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's going to pull out of it and win anyway, right? No, that puss-eyed puss is going to lose. But nobody knows, and I'm going to make him mint. Oh, man. I have to tell this to someone. <laughs> I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. Nice talking with you, Nick. Ben right. a slice. <laughs> ben a slice. All right. We need to somehow get us to be the lawyer, when we? Hold on. Good kitty. Is that cat actually modeled, or is that a painting? No, that's a, that's a modeled cat. That's a... the lighting is so soft. It's. Mm -hmm. I think I might have even. Oh, please, please. Did I do that? Did I model that cat? I might have modeled that cat. <laughs> He cool doesn't even cat. know. Just the lighting. He's Can... one sexy cat. It's funny. It's like, did I do that? I don't know if I did that. I might have done that. Oh, oh. Well, that's where that is. Okay. Oh, no, we're gonna go talk to our the boss dude, the, the head honcho. Can we? Can, where are you going, Manny? Rubicava is named after a girl I knew in the fourth grade. What? Her last name was Rubicava. That's a fun fact for you. Wow. She's huh. married now. Doesn't use it anymore, so I get to use it. <laughs> <laughs> You're keeping it alive. That's funny. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Look at that cigar. That tie is, like, super short, too. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Many. Let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it. But none of it's his. <laughs> <laughs> 
Should have bought a cigar for my vacation. Yeah. There's some really good smelling cigars out there. Like one of the, some of the thin ones that are like have this smell to them. They're really good. I'm leaving town smelling. tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's hearts go flutter. I'll tell you that twice. Swisher Sweet? What? Your new waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town corner, Manny. Cut it out. Oh, mini cigars. Maybe that one's it. Maybe that's the one. I don't I don't know because I've never bought a cigar before. But I've known people to smoke like the really sweet smelling ones. I think they're, they're probably sweet. Since the name is sweet. I just remember liking the smell, whatever it was. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny, don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. Girlfriend? It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. Oh yeah, he's he's dating Olivia, that's right. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. Oh man, I'm not I'm joking. Not joking. <laughs> that's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Let's talk about something we can agree about. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. <laughs> Just can't get enough of my cats. I'm sure you can't. Alright, can I uh, look at something over there? Can I get around this chair, please? If I know Max, these will be wired to an alarm. You know me better than I thought. If I know Max, oh, yeah. these will be wired nope. to an alarm. You know me better than I thought. What about this one? There was like something he was looking at over here. Rubicava is named after a girl oh. I knew in the fourth grade. That's not what I wanted. Her last name was Rubicava. You know me better than I That's a fun fact for you. Wow. She's married now. Doesn't use it anymore, so I get to use it. I don't think I can uh, <laughs> You're keeping do what I wanted to. Okay. Sorry. I just wanted to try. So I think in order to threaten Nick, I think I need... Don't I need something? Because I gotta threaten him so he walks away and goes talk to the big How's dude. How's tricks, Nick? Nah. And then he leaves his, uh, his cigarette thing Virago, so he can get it. I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? Um... I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger okay. had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. Okay, that was when good I get enough. Back, I hope you're gone because I'm sick of looking at you. Damn. Jeez. So mean. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Alright, now we gotta go blow it up. But before we do that, we're gonna go to the kitchen. And do some, uh, get some stuff from the kitchen. Oh, hey! It's our, it's our waiter. Busy as ever, I see. Hmm. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to us. Yeah, I think we're supposed to be a boss in like the in the basement of this area or something. Looks like a turkey baster. All right, perfect. Just what we need. All right, we need to get the key, I think. 
so the key is for oh Speaking i think the of database i mean that was really how we accomplished so much right is is from an organizational standpoint of the music of the sound effects and of the voice and i remember especially for voice how critical it was and what we in the sound department would do is inherit and share the use of the database with the voice department mm -hmm. um and you could you could do a search and isolate all the, the, the lines for, say, Manny, and, or isolate all the lines that needed to have reverb uh, baked into them or, or another type of processing. And then you would just divide and conquer and, and just master everything in groups and bring it all together, have a single reference for volume, and uh, use hmm. the database to, to keep organized and isolate different uh, found sets of different criteria. All right. We're gonna go get the key. Well, Manny Calavera, you never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Oh, well. All right, I think, yeah, I think we just tell her, hey, it's a bomb. I don't think that would get me the key. Oh. Her, um, her character is a little bit inspired by, I think it's Big Sleep too, where Bogart is hiding from someone. He needs to hide in a bookstore. Right. And he goes in there, and there's a woman in there, and uh, she's really into him. She had the Ben Hur 1863 edition, the one with wow. the errata on page 47 or something. Wow. What? That is a memory. You know. Well. And, he, and it's yeah. just really, he just, he looks at her, and he's like, um, she seems like she's really attracted to him, if I remember correctly. And he like takes off her glass and is like, yeah, okay. Like it was really me kind of messed up scene, but um, well, it's that, that you know that was the the subtext yeah. of, of the noir film. And then he pulls the shades. Hanky to, panky. Yeah, the hanky panky. Down. Yeah, what? Lock, they lock the door and pull down the shades, and that's a little bit what this scene is all mm -hmm. a reference number two or inspired by. Because she's telling him their story. Mm -hmm. All right, we talk to her. Oh, I gotta go around this way. Okay, apparently. What's that? Um, there we I go. don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? Uh, no. No, there was a shifty looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my god. Give me that. She will it's not let bomb. go. Get rid of it. We just blew Another it up. senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. Well, the key survived perfectly fine, but the cigarette case was completely key. destroyed. I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, it's probably the key to some terrorist hideout. Okay, bye. I guess we're leaving. What if I didn't want to leave? Okay. It's okay. We'll go to um, where we need to go. I'm a strong believer in things that should be, when you're making stuff, it should be something that could only have been made by you or in that group of people, and at the time you made it in the place you made it. Yes. What? You know? I think Grimm is definitely that case. Like, only, that's one of the great things about Grimm. I think it's a collection of amazing artists like you and the visual artists and the programmers and uh, the actors and everything that came together for that game it was just such a um it was almost an overwhelming distraction of amazing artists coming together like like oh my mm. god look at that look at that background oh my god listen yes. to this music oh my god listen to that voice so i just um i think it makes that game really special but it also has a lot of personal details that are just kind of woven into it that that makes it so like even if we were making this game from scratch with the same intentions today it would just be completely different hmm. right. heading over to the lighthouse although i guess while we're here we'll visit um i don't know why there's so much the guy uh, over here union jokery in games that i've worked on but i've always found it um maybe because it was a big part of like um movies of that era like on the waterfront Mm -hmm. you know the, and not so much unions but um mobster corrupt unions right there's always a big part of that you know going on and then also like worker anti-worker communist themes going on like it was all tied together and i don't if that all sprung out of on the waterfront or um other well movies. on the waterfront though was kind of um i mean it was sort of championing the 
the whatever the, the the plight of the working man, but it, but it also but was, was talking about the dark side of the union thing for sure. But it was a corrupt union. It was yeah, a it was. mob run yeah, deal. That's true. I've seen on the waterfront like ages ago, but I don't ever remember what it was about. This key doesn't work there. Well, let me put the key away. I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. All right. I remember at the time it was a big debate, like, should we require P100 or P133, like penny one, yeah. 100, penny 133? One, it's like, nope, your target platform is whatever was on sale at CompUSA yeah. for 500 bucks last year. It's like a P70. Yeah, it's like, what, you know, P60, I think, is, is what we ended up yeah. with as the minimum spec. We ended up going for P90 at the end, but it was one of the things where it's like those kind of constraints where it's like you really mm -hmm. could pull it off with all the kinds of machines we had in the company, but the average consumer who we wanted to sell the game to did not have a machine like that. So and that's one of the vagaries of the PC market that still persists, you know? Yeah, and you wouldn't, you know, when you think about Grimm, you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily think, um, but there's like all hand-coded assembly rasterizers in here. There's hand-coded assembly blitters. Programming land here. language. <laughs> um, lots of like layout asset management. Um, all, you know, th this was a... This was a tricky game to optimize and yeah. to, to get running acceptably on the kind of machines that people were going to be running it on. Um, yeah. But it doesn't, you know, it doesn't come off like the same technical challenge as a Jedi Knight or yeah. something like that. And it wasn't. It's, supposed I to mean, be. it's it was different, different kind of technical challenge. Much more kind of interdisciplinary. It was really getting all this weird stuff happening at the same time. So I looked up when On the Waterfront came out. It was 1954. I actually have On the Waterfront. I bought it ages ago. Just so I could see it. And, um... It was... I, I don't know. I don't really remember much. Like, it was okay. Oh my god, he's like... <laughs> I don't think he's supposed to look like that. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area. Including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. Hector Lemon. One time showing Pete something, he said, well, I, I don't like it, but I don't know why. <laughs> and which is the most helpful criticism that you can ever get um, because you don't it's know how hot. to fix the thing. But I'm being facetious. All right, let's talk to Terry. Hey, Terry, that was a beautiful <laughs> speech out there. Yeah, can you chill? So, but it landed me in here. Don't worry, I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick before the movement loses its buzz. Oh, maybe he is because Manny was like moving his head. I don't know, it just doesn't look right. They uh, went a little bit crazy. Too much coffee, exactly. Oh my god. The dude. That's funny. We'll Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Mimbrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. All right. A Membrio, um, my brother actually makes Membrio, which is a quince jelly that you eat with cheese. Membrio means quince. Well, it sure doesn't sound like, like, like it. What? It means what? Oh, quince? Membrio, that's different. Okay. What do you think I said? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What a sad story. These stew sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. That's, uh... How's business? Booming, unfortunately. <laughs> more crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. What exactly are you looking for? I am digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, yeah. with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. 
Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Nanny? I can't do it. <laughs> I know. I was just testing. Look at the flowers, though. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. <laughs> Sorry. Old car on a joke. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, Membrio? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain, of death within death. Their conflicted feelings build and build. And eventually, they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. <laughs> and Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. I like him too. How was the lighting handled on the characters in each environment? Does anybody remember that? I think, uh, however, we were able to set up a couple of lights. I think that was that yeah, was it. I mean, there wasn't there some information that that you guys would take the set because then we have to save a copy of of our sets with like you know the key light and the and the fill or, or just we i thought we would save a version of the, the very simple that's possible yeah as as a like a starting starting place but i mean it was all very kind of rudimentary and you had to be really strategic with yeah. you know what's the what is the best use of uh, a minimal amount of lights to accommodate the character in the entire scene that he's got to be in yeah there was no i mean for all this stuff there was no roadmap or procedure for like, oh, this is how you do 3D forests or light character. I mean, we had to make everything up and solve every problem to get everything to happen pretty much in this. Um, so there's a lot of just on the fly, different people figuring stuff out per scene, how to, how to make something work. And as a result, some things work better than others. Mm. Hey, should I close this? No, I'm trying to air it out. I don't know what that is. I don't understand what those like. There's one on the other side too. Wait, let's see if he'll uh. He was looking at it when I was like over here. Hey, should I close this? No, I'm trying to air it out. Oh, he's talking about the other things. Okay, never mind. All right, we'll leave here. Oh yeah, we're going to the lighthouse. So we'll take this. And uh, that way we can get our trophy. know if we're gonna be able to finish this we're only on year two and we've been playing for over four, uh, four hours <laughs> it's been a long it's been long thank you for being here Mockingjay and whoever else is here I appreciate it there hasn't been many people today it's uh it's been quiet today it's probably the game though Lola careful Manny you may not want to see me like this Lola did Nick do this to you yeah he wanted that picture real bad, but he's never gonna find it, that thing. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, oh, would I have had a chance? Never mind. 
She just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Aww. Lola! Lola! No, Lola. At least she sprouted beautiful flowers. It's the seals! With the chunky seal. Alright, this is the rusty anchor thing we needed. Oh, Lola. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it. And it says number 22, Lengua. Okay, well, it's not... Let's see if I can look at hey, it. Hey, there's a picture of no. a tongue on it. And it says number 22, Lengua. If I go here, we can get like a closer look at it. Yeah, it's like a tongue. <laughs> That's so weird. Alright. Um, we'll bring the tongue thing to the coat check lady. Uh, what was her name? Lola was the one that just died. Um, Lula? Lulu? Oh, what's her name? Oh, I'm blanking on her name, but the coat check lady. Lo Lupe. Lupe, that's her name. Alright, we'll bring the thing to Lupe. And then she'll give us a picture of the rusty anchor thing. I believe. Card for my new coat check system. You do care. Yay. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on. Twenty-two. 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 Lengua. 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 Ha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? <laughs> this can't be yours. That's it. It Thanks. looks so what stiff. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow. All right. Now we look into the jacket. It's Lola's jacket. Poor Lola. If I only had her camera or that film, I could really get Nick. I think. Is it gonna? Yeah. There's okay. a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. There we go. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is yeah. that supposed to mean? Now we go to Gla uh, Gladys. We give Gladys the rusty anchor thing so he'll sing to us. Thank you, Mockingjay. I was busy doing stuff. Where's the... Wait, is that the rusty anchor thing? All that this paper says yeah, okay. is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? You get a special award for playing the rusty anchor song. I secretly wanted to be to, s to sing this one, you know. I, s I did a demo for you, remember? Yeah. This is one of the things, much like Cabbage Boy, that we wrote together. Yep. I wrote the lyrics, and then you came up with a tune and then changed the lyrics a little bit to actually make them more musical. I think oh, it's got oh. a rusty anchor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, rusty anchor. <laughs> going down, down. Do it. <laughs> Stink around. <laughs> I said stink around. It's stick around. Stink, stink around. We're gonna stink around, Ooh, guys. A request. Mm, rusty anchor. Rusty anchor. Yeah, I, I think I know that one. If I remember right, it goes a little something like this. Yeah. Oh, my boat's got a rusty anchor. <laughs> Rusty as she can be Every port I go I drop her But she always come back to me Oh, Rusty
rusty anger. <laughs> Going down, down, down. Oh, rusty anger. That's pretty good. Guess I gotta hang around. Now I love that rusty anchor. <laughs> but man, she don't love me. Hell, this morning I woke to find us both a drifting out to sea. And every chance I get, I thank her for never leaving me. Well, my bones are carved up driftwood, but she won't never set them free. Oh, rusty anchor, going down, down, down. Oh, rusty anchor, yes, you gotta hang around. <gasps> that was awesome. Yeah, clap. That was so good. Well, what'd you think? I thought you were created just to drive. Well, over the years, you know, even a demon dabbles here and there. All right, let's set, make sure we talk to him, if there's anything else. Uh, I fine. just had a run-in with Domino and Mechi. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Mechi. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. All right. Now we get him the high Check rollers. Check out this fancy path to the high rollers lounge. Yeah. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from that place. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Oh, dear. Gladys? He's gone. Oh, the music's changed now. Ooh, ooh, Aww. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We need one more trophy now. And then we'll have all the trophies, and then we gotta free the bee first in order to get it. So, um, we got Rusty Anchor. I think, do we bring Rusty? I think we bring Rusty Anchor to Toto. Toto Santos. And I think he gives us something, the picture. I think it's how it goes. So let's go do that. And then that'll be enough to break the bee out of uh, out of jail. We also should get the um, the squeezy bit from use the turkey baster to get the the um, knockout juice from here while we're around this area so let's do that um should i talk to her let me see if anything Mind happens if i go in you don't want to go in there i haven't cleaned up yet <laughs> i meant to talk to her uh okay we, well, we don't need anything get you later hip chick keep practicing that lingo man you'll get it all right we only need a few more things to do to beat um, year two, I think. And then we'll be on to year three. The other two years are, I would say, definitely more shorter. Although I said this one was shorter than the first year, and this one I think has actually gone on longer than the first year. <laughs> because of uh, all the... It's a much bigger location, I think. All right, we go to, yeah, it's definitely a much bigger location because we have like all these places. So if we go this way and then head on to Toto. Oh, wait, I think you can look at, okay, maybe not. I thought he could look at something and say something, but apparently not. 
Okay. Let's go talk to Toto. It kind of looked like he was, uh... He was, like, in the air when he was walking. It also looks very dirty. I don't know, like, it looks like he's jumping into a pile of something. Like, that it's not open. But that is definitely not what that is. Alright, I'm going to, uh... I think I do this first. And do that. Then we go over here, grab the baster, and I'm like, yeah, put him in. There we go. We squirted in. <laughs> it's such a gross sound. Look, you broke it. Now it won't shut. And uh, we got him. <laughs> He's gonna pass out. Uh, Hold still, Matario. Dead. Ugh. Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drugs. Reisek Chobargo. What kind of <laughs> sailor are you? <clears throat> Can't handle bulls, huh? What you the us gonna know what anger at the name folks give is at me. The tell you I shan't ball on the watch. Alright, we need go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. MIA he is. Well, he sobered up. I send him to limbo. Yeah, yeah. He'll make it there by morning. Uh -huh. Promise. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I Let's told him. Let's see what you got on you, huh, sailor? You got any tickets? Uh, you dog tags. And Selmo Naranja Ensign Third Class. Doesn't look like you'll be showing up to work I in the morning. I gave him the idea in first place. So yeah. So now we have his uh dog tags, which will come in handy. Look, it even says Naranja. Anyways, um, let's do Rusty Anchor. Uh, hang on a second. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, get away from that! Ah, uh, Tiger can't change his stripes. What? Okay, we need to, before we leave, hopefully we can distract him with the phone thingy. And get the Rusty Anchor bit. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Can we... Okay. Uh, hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure! It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Sketer, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here. Hey, what is this? friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here. Sweet, Sweet girl. girl. Like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. So, you still going? Alright. So we got a picture now, which I think is the picture of... Oh no, it's a race. Looks like these cats are almost scruff and scruff. So, what's significant about this is it's... Is it race six? And it says, marry me, Olivia. So, at least some of you did not, oh, he went back into the thing. I couldn't see where I was and my character went into the thing. Okay, so that's significant. So we still don't have the picture yet. That, uh, hey, of the- listen to me. You've got to take care of yourself. Of, um, the two kissing. This is like a huge, huge puzzle to get this picture. Lola hit it very well. <laughs> oh yeah, I wonder if I can... This is supposedly where the... I've tried. Only Gladys can get these doors open. Yeah, that's where the... Um, bone wagon is. Can I go over here? It's locked, but there's nothing up there anyway. This gate only leads up to the Lombada dock, and the Lombada's gone. I've oh. got the lumps to prove it. <laughs> oh, so that's where the, the ship that had Meche on it was. Okay. So if we go over here, which we didn't go to before, here's the big cat that died. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more. Can we look at the... I need to look at the... There we Beloved go. Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline, was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years, until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short 
on the second week of the racing season, when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage, crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sam Spoof was in the lead. Yeah, so race, was that week two? Race six, I believe. That's gonna, so when we do the ticket, we take those two informations. Was it a Tuesday? I think this is supposed to be six. This is two, and this is, I think it's a Tuesday. It's a betting stub for, let's see, Tuesday, week two, race six. Okay, so that's gonna come in and we give that to the guys upstairs. Gucci, that smell is peor que la muerte. <laughs> it says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Let's see. I don't think I can- I can't do anything in here yet. We need to get the, um... What do you call it? The- Oh, I'm- I'm losing brain. Oh. The, um... Metal detector. Ooh. You know, there's all these background scripts that do things as you enter a room. It's like it's, you know... Start all these scripts when you enter the room, like, that do all these background actions. Then when you leave the room, it's just to stop all those scripts. And it was all, you know, left to chance because it, you know, had left to programmer error. And uh, there was one, so um, <laughs> we were talking about this earlier. There's a, uh, there's, a, there's a script that runs the cat races, and it runs the announcer for the cat races, and it actually, <laughs> true to and Tim's uh, attention to detail, he wanted it to actually simulate cat races. And, and there actually, are actual cat races going on. There are, there are cats that are being raced, and they, the, the same name will show up, and you'll, see, you'll hear this, case, this cat getting ahead of the other one. I think Chris Purvis did that. Yeah, and the odds are real? The winnings are <laughs> <What>? real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Manny's, Manny's wallet fills up the, the fourth week. No. Uh, the the cat races are running, and so it's in the background. The announcer's running, and, and it's the simulation of you know these cat races being run. And um, yeah, they never killed that script. So you play the rest of the game from the cat scene, and the uh, the cat race simulator script is always running. Yeah. Yes, always. from from the moment the cat races start to never the end ever. credits of the game, <laughs> the, the cat race time. the cat race <laughs> simulation is going on in the background. That's There's funny. Still racing today. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna save the game real quick. All right, and talk to Anybody this dude. Anybody there? Look, I told you we don't have any kitty hats today. What? You have to wait until Tuesday. Tuesday. That's kitty hat day. I don't want oh. a kitty hat. Fine with me. What's your bet then? I don't gamble. It's a Hold conflict on. of interest for me. Then That's why did you call me down here to pick up my winnings here? Oh, another Chow Chilla Charlie original. Give me one good reason not to throw you out of here. What? Because I'll tell Max to fire you. Okay, I think we have to give it to the other guy. I think that's why I've always gone to the other guy. The other guy doesn't know it's a fake. But that's how we know it's a Tuesday. Is because... Kitty hats. I don't hats. think that would shed any light on things. There are... There are little kitty hats in the picture, so you can tell it's a Tuesday. It's race six. You know this is the week two because of the story about the Olivia One's maiden voyage, and that's the Olivia One in the corner. That's how you know. Just if you FYI about that puzzle. That puzzle was a pain in the butt as a kid. And, um... Where's my bedding stub thing? Here we go. Okay. Wait, I went race six, Tuesday, two, boom. All right. We give it to this guy. This guy will be fine. Hello. Oh, hi. Betting stop, please. Here you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last. Season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Aha! What? Are you a winner? Big winner. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. 
So now we have the picture of the two of them kissing. Olivia, Olivia? And Nick? Yeah. That's no way to treat a photo as juicy as this. <laughs> Sassy detective, that works exactly. Uh, it only took me years. <laughs> I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? Doug? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts. That puzzle was crazy. Not gonna lie. As a kid, I'm pretty sure as a kid, I looked it up. To, to get that solution. But like, as I grew up, I was like, oh, that's how you do it. Hey, Delta, how's it going? Still live, I know. We've been going four and a half hours. I'm exhausted. <laughs> and I don't know if we'll finish the game or not. It depends. We've been slowly making it. We've only on year two. And, um... Yeah. So for this puzzle, in order to get the, um... The detector. Well, maybe just a sip. The detector thing. We have to s ah. swallow metal and walk through the metal detector. Oh, I love this part. How long? We've been on for four and a half hours now. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. And we're only on year two. You sure you're not packing anything else? Why is there else? a key on a piece of paper? Nothing that would set off that thing. <laughs> then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Whoa. Rules Careful, guys. And, of course, with my dad being in the military, we what? moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig That's trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Actually, figs are a personal favorite. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled oh, up man. like my Grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> Poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. Hedwig, now that's an interesting name. I remember one time back when I was... Speaking six. of metal detectors. <laughs> Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Why is there a key? Why not? I mean, why is there a key that looked like it was just on a piece... Drew, drawn on a piece of paper? But I think it was supposed to be like an actual key sitting on a piece of paper. Anyways. In two lives at once. What? Oh, you're in two lives at once, like you're in my life. Who else is live are you in? Who else is live? Tell them hi for me. <laughs> I don't know who they are, but tell them hi. <laughs> yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. <laughs> Carla. Carla. All right, I don't know if there's anything to do in here. Things do look bad, but this chump wouldn't do the trick, unfortunately. They're locked. They're lockers. <laughs> They're locked. They're lockers. You hey. wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. He's all the way in America. Well, that's not far from me. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. Yeah, she won't talk to me anymore. Now that I, uh, I got, I made her mad because all Bye, I wanted. Carla. Drop dead. <laughs> Drop dead. Oh man. It's a beautiful day. All right, now we gotta go pick up the metal detector. There's that cat race simulator running. Well, that's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh no. All right, take the. All right, for this one, it's a metal detector. Tempting as it is. I just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. We take the... Whatchamadinky this. Aha! Uh -huh. 
There we go. That was actually perfect. First time. Yeah. So talented. <laughs> A little stinky, but it could be worse. Yeah. Now what do we use? Oh yeah, we give that to the coroner. Along with throwing on the... thingy. Alright, what else do we need to do? We... We can go visit Gladys. Gladys is, uh... Now jumped over here. Oh, for crying out loud! Yeah! We'll go up here now. He says hi. <laughs> Who is he? Yeah! <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, why did Cataglottis leave the piano playing thing and come down here? Oh, you got him the pass. You gave him a pass. Right. So and you, now he's a high roller. And he's an alcoholic and a gambler because of you. Right. But it's all for a good cause. Adventure game playing. <laughs> Go, kitty! Hey, Glottis. What's that? I had no idea you liked gambling so much, Glottis. Well, the doctors made me promise I wouldn't do it anymore. But they can't get in the high rolling loud, Doc Gabby! I, I kind of really like drunk Glottis. Push, 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 push. <laughs> you got it! He's just like, push, 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 push. Oh man. Coming home soon? Shh. I'm visualizing. <laughs> oh. This is it. Yeah, drunk Lotus is hilarious. I love it. Alright. Um, a few things we need to do here. Do we want to do this now? Cat. Oh no, we don't. We want to do. Um... Okay. I'm going to do this dude first. I think we have to actually physically give him the. Hey, my man. Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive. We freed the bee. I guess our business is settled. Oh, he has a Almost. bow tie. His bow tie is not as cool <clears throat> as ours. <laughs> what? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either, but don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. Damn. All right. So we free the bee. We gotta make sure we go chant with the bee, but first... Look, that'll be the final trophy we need. I think, right? Because we did the... Yeah, that'll be the last trophy we need. Right. I'm gonna give him the metal detector. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You'll never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Let me take the dog tags. And we... Whoop! Oh, you didn't see nothing. <laughs> they were just floating there. Oh, man. What? Velasco, it looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. <sighs> All right. day long, Manny, I saw through pure sadness. I find evidence 
and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here. And the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Ah, uh, very dark. But yes. Let's go. Let's go chant with the bees. Run the bee chants. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Yes. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Hell Those are some no, pretty big tools. I just had no, lies come work. pick them up on Bogan the way out of town. Alright, let's uh are we bees or are we flies? No more no lies! More lies. No, no more, more lies! lies. Manny! Do it time, alright? <laughs> okay. Sorry. From the top. Hell no, no we, we won't work! work. Manny! <laughs> he doesn't wanna he doesn't want us to chant with him. Let me make sure we Do got that trophy. Right. Okay. Sorry. From the top. Hell no, we won't work! How do we, no, we what do we have to do? Bogan me, 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 me. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. Manny. When do we chant? Hold on, let me, all right. let me, uh, From the top. let me make sure. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Chant in time by pressing X at the appropriate spot. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? Manny! <laughs> we have to do the whole thing in time. In time, all right? Okay. Sorry. From the top. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. I don't know how long this is. Oh, I thought I messed it up. Did I get it? Bogan is a big fat Did I get it? I don't know Bogan if I got it cuz Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a I did everything big but like the last Bogan bit, which is jerk. weird. Are we bees or are we flies? Oh, I didn't get it. Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies, no more lies. Oh, no sure. more lies, no more lies. Are we bees or Kay. are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies, no more lies. No more lies, no more lies. Sea bees, sea bees, free bees, free bees, sea bees, sea bees, free bees, free bees. We're strong, we're strong, we fight, we fight, we're killing bees, Manny. Damn it, it's we're strong, we fight. Oh man, this is gonna be, this is hard. Do it in time, all right. I think I have to do everything. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies, no more lies. No more lies, no more lies. Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies, no more lies. No more lies, no more lies. Sea bees. Sea bees, free bees, free bees, sea bees, sea bees. 
And then... Freebies! Freebies! We're strong! We're strong! We, we fight. fight! We're killer bees all right. Fuck! We're killer bees tonight, alright. Is oh God, I'm so sorry about this, but I want I want this trophy. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies! No more lies! No more lies! No more lies! Sea bees! Sea bees! Free bees! Free bees! Sea bees! Sea bees! Free bees! Free bees! We're strong! We fight! We're killer bees tonight! Alright! We're strong! We're strong! We fight! We're killer bees tonight! Alright! Many, many calories! Got no skin, got no hair. Got no skin, got no hair. Manny, Manny, Calavera. Manny, Manny, Calavera. Got no skin, got no hair. Got no skin, got no hair. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. I don't think I have to repeat it. I think we got it. Hell no, we won't work. Hell no, we won't work. Yeah, we got it. Which means we should have gotten the last one. Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies, no more lies. It didn't register. No more lies, no more lies. Are we bees or are we flies? All right, we can stop that now. I'm sure you guys are like sick of that. No more lies, no more lies. Sea bees. All right, get away from this free sea bees. Oh man, that was that was kind of difficult, but. We, we did it. Alright, what do we have left to do? We have... We've freed the CB. We need to do, um... We need to get Chow Chilla Charlie's money. And I think that's the last bit so that he can get me a union card. So let's go do that. If I could get in... Can I get in the door? Okay. Door, <laughs> door was broken. Alright. And I think... Let's see. Can we, can we go up the thing? Okay. I'm gonna use... The can opener thingy that monster upstairs is running there ragged oh but monsieur je suis très désolé there are no guests allowed in the kitchen i must ask you to leave in a minute leroy raul thanks mocking jay i'd better not open it when it's full that could spill oh. a lot of juice okay i gotta lock him in that's what i gotta do first Okay, so we lock him in. Oh, I remember this part being a pain in the butt. So we take this quickly. And we use it to lock him in. Yeah, and then we leave. Hello? 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 <laughs> Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have a... Uh locked myself in this teeny tiny room i am actually very claustrophobic so if somebody uh, see vous plaît see vous plaît oh, let me out of here immediately oh, oh. that's the sugar papa likes i just realized hey, something thirsty where's that waiter that oh, that's doesn't... that's not counted in the 47 Tea break for me, pee break for a minute. Alright, Mocking Jay. Alright, hold on. Mm, fruity, but voluminous. 
Okay, we might be missing another trophy that we need. Um... So let me see. If I can figure out... Was it in here? I don't know. Grim Fandango. Achievements. Okay. I was counting the number, the unlock all achievements as the one, so I figured that. Um, that was one of them. So then we get the year two trophy after, yeah. Was not always this color. Sniff, sniff. Here it is. Save your breath. Try to explain to Mechi. That's the one we're missing, which is in year three. Okay. Well, that's good to know. That wasn't too difficult to find. All right. So Gladys um, drank all the wine. So now we can open it. And uh, jump in. <laughs> well, somebody's sleeping on the job. And he comes and sneaks in. Ah, it's empty. Oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> Ruben! Where are you? Oh man, the waiter's name is Ruben. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Hey, Joe, no wine. Oh, I'm going to foul him for ignoring my pleas. And then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. <laughs> Poor guy. Five hours in, and we've only we're still on year two. <laughs> That's so crazy. Considering I did the whole game in like four hours and something previously. So this is a this is one of the parts of the game where a huge amount was cut out. There was supposed to be a gigantic action sequence, like there was in all of you know. I think we cut it with giant action sequence out of every year, but there was a gigantic action sequence where there's an animal called the dillopede that guarded the bottom of the uh, dillopede <laughs> of the elevator. It was, it was a giant armadillo. And uh, the dillipede was was there to uh, to kind of snap it, man, and everything down. There's this whole sequence where you had to kind of, you know, you had the dillipede hanging by some elevator cable, and he was snapping at you, mm -hmm. and you had to swing on him or something like that. And oh my god, just the idea of a giant vicious armadillo still sticks with me. But it was one of those things where it's like, you look at the context of the game, and it's an adventure game, and the budget's short, and you know, already going to be a huge game. What purpose is it serving the game? So we had to cut a lot of stuff out like that. That just, you know. It was really cool and fun it looks to design, like I'm but uh, floating. not critical of the game and, and was going to be really expensive. Alright. Bring me in. Alright. This, this part can be a little bit difficult if you, uh... But I've been pretty good with it the past few times I've done it. So you gotta angle it just right. And then I think you can actually let's let's save. Might as well. And not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. How do I exit? Not here. Okay. So then we set it off. And then we quickly turn around. <laughs> I think controls are very slow with that. Also, I missed a 
thing. I'm gonna go forward. Go. Oh, I don't think it's right. Oh! This is our first 3D game, and it's funny to see how many puzzles are about the physical properties of things, as mm -hmm. opposed to, right. in a 2D adventure game, you would never make something based on the shape of something or right. leverage. Like, that whole puzzle was very physical. Like, you had to move these two objects and stop them it's from sliding past like each other, and the forklift jacked up on its back wheels, and I think we were just so excited to be in a world of physical stuff. Or maybe because <laughs> we were in a world of physical stuff, we had to actually make it physically realistic. It's that cute little chunk. It's the pumpkin chunk. I love it. No, and I think this is one of my first sets. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember this is... Both of those were... Um, well, it was one of the first ones that I'd ever modeled. And again, it was very simple. Very simple geometry. Moving in. Is there anything in here before I, uh... It shows that I've already, we've already listened to it, so... It's the Just tickets! Neo. It's full of double-end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chow Chilla Charlie. Yeah. Alright, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Everyone likes Tuesdays. Tuesdays are very important don't in this Don't forget game. to pay my dues. <laughs> Alright. Now, you're right, it is good for fall time. Maybe I'll keep the pumpkin seal then, until fall is over. Since, you know, November is very folly. So, I could keep some of them. I'll get rid of the ones that are, like, for sure Halloween-y. But, uh, which I need to do. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or something. Or tonight, if I'm up for it. Although, I need to figure out a replace. Oh, yeah, I was gonna do seals. Okay, it might be a weekend thing. I don't, I don't want to go this way. Might be more of a weekend, uh, that way I can replace them with something good. Sprouted? What's happening to this town? Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You'll take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. <laughs> now, what about these tools? Where are they? They're too big for me to carry. Gladys will bring them when we board. Huh. And the card? Let me see it. Oh, Here too oh, is one done. of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far sighted. <laughs> Looks like you're all ready to go, Manny. Except one. Where's that piano player of yours? He's having a little goodbye party. I'll go get him. Tell him to hurry up. The limbo can't sail without him. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. All right, right, we need Gladys. I think in order to get Gladys, we need to get him kicked out. And to get him kicked out, we need to. I forgot about this. Uh... Sorry, I was just checking how to get the one trophy we we're missing in the next area. So we need to kick Gladys out of the... Oh, we don't want this. Out of the High Rollers Lounge. And to do that, we need to get the policemen to raid our establishment which we need to go back to the roulette table where we were in the beginning and rig it again oh no 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 oh i didn't know you could skip that okay apparently we could skip it thank god we don't have to watch the whole animation again all right so 
We go back to our little, like, riggy roulette table thingy. Red 23. <laughs> I'll try to put it on. I don't think I can, like... It'll be like, sort of random. Semi-random. I think it's already on red 2. Is red 2 a thing? Or is it black 2? I could probably walk faster around than I could if you... Oh, it's on black too. So if I do like a... How do I get... There's not even a red 20... Oh yeah, 23 is red. Okay, never mind. I lied. Le numéro gagnant, le 18, rouge, père et manque, 18, red. I think it's the next Mesdames one. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No, no more, more bets, bets please. please. This is the one we need to, like... Will it land on the one I chose? No. 14. 14 is the winner. Le 14. Numero 14 la gagno. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. 14 is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. 14 is the winning number. Better luck next time. That does it! That Calaver is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. Oh, man. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Raided? How long are they going to close it for? Ah. Huh. Yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Get him off. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt. And bring me <laughs> Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. Let's go. And I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig. And for not asking too many questions. Well, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time. I promise. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is true. And we're on a ship now! Working on the ship. That mop is a little weird. I like playing roulette at the casino usually. I've never played roulette before. I mean, I've seen it, but I've just never played it. Bet on it. I mean, I guess, of course I've seen it. I feel like roulette's one of those things that, like... It's everywhere. It's our ship! And we are now the captain! Year three, baby! Captain, captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor! We're here at last! Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador? I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolucion! A little late, man. <laughs> we stole a lot of really good things. That was down. We, kept, <laughs> we, we kept the idea of the chore tool, which I just called chortle. But they, they had cyst and bile and these, these, all these bodily humor flavored. Why did that um, suddenly get quiet? 
uh, cyst biofilm. Did I do just, something? And and we kept, but the, but the there are analogs like the chore tool is the really big one, but it's the analog to what they did in cyst, which is the costume editor for all the other uh, adventure games. Mm -hmm. And we kept those paradigms. You know, they they manipulate three D elements and two D elements and movies and things together on one timeline. But that really is harking back to exactly what they're doing in the two D game. So Lucas is remembered for the great art and the funny writing and all of that but it's all built on yeah, some just tech. amazing tech oh dear that was loud oh my god the t difference happy day of the dead hello stefano how are you doing we're, we're playing this because this is uh the best game to play for the day of the dead oh, no all the sprouted sailors but what happens to the souls when they're sprouted I was wondering that myself. I, I think the idea was they take the flowers and bring them back to the land of the living. <laughs> they like it's recycled. Recycled. Ah, they get, <laughs> never really thought they get reincarnated, which yeah. is sort of what you don't want to do here. I'm sorry I led you into trouble, sailor. I'm sorry I led you. Oh, no. Uh-oh, you can see the, the guys over there. I'm sorry I led you into trouble, sailor. This can't be happening. Hey! He's back here! Sack him! <laughs> Are we doing the Fandango? Yeah. <laughs> Custom officials, open this door! All right. Yeah, we want to check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. Uh... I couldn't resist playing a childhood clock. Oh yeah, this is this is my favorite game as well. So it's like we have to play it, and I figured this was. I was getting the urge to play it again, and I was like, we should wait until the Day of the Dead, and I figured we'd play it for the Day of the Dead. So you're sinking back to the way that we all work together at Lucas Arts. You know, the way the different departments collaborated. You know, it was everybody just assumed that uh, we were all rooting for each other and on the same team and and there was almost no sense of of kind of trial period or, or in nowadays and, and for a long time now in the video game industry a lot of times when you are in a service uh, capacity such as sound or audio music uh, there's really a vetting period where what you're presenting is being vetted by the directors and the producers and and you need to hear back and you know, what did they think are they can want to continue to work with us and that kind of thing and that's fine. That's, that's the way the film industry is, and that's, that's that's the way things are. But back then, especially at LucasArts, it was not at all like that. Everyone just wanted to be working together. It was all one team. Everyone was facing in the same collaborative direction, and uh, uh, achieving mm. f uh, fun results. And I think that creates a, an atmosphere in which people feel comfortable creating and taking risks. So it paid off, I think. Look at Glottis' eyes, man. He's like he's so stressed. This is me when I'm like stressed. <laughs> His eyes. I don't. Can I talk to him? I can't talk to him. I thought I could talk to him, but I guess I can't. Oh. Okay. I think. So the way this works is I gotta figure out which. I don't know which one is up and which one's down. So that one's up. I guess, I don't think it matters. As long as one of them is up and then we move the ship in that direction. An impossible bar first. The sound and music in this game is great. The, 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 you know. Oh, that's different. Okay, so we wanna go that way. No. We're away. We want to go the other way. I probably should have put the other one down. I think it'd be easier to put... Yeah, I think I'm supposed to put the other one down. Oops. Oh, I, I wanted to exit. Okay, we're moving. We gotta move back now. <laughs> Those eyes are exactly it, Mocking Jay. All right, we yeah, exit with you apparently. So I'm gonna pull this one up, 
And then I'm gonna put this one. Ooh. Oh, I wanted to also talk about, I think this was the, f I, this may have been the first game, it may not have, but. Oh, I have to actually, sorry, I have to stand here in order for it to. Oh, I wanted to also talk about, I think this was the, f I, this may have been the first game, it may not have, but at LucasArts that I can remember, where you walk the character around and procedurally his head, Manny's head is turning towards oh, right. points of interest. Yeah. Procedurally. It was the first head tracking, right? At With a computer. LucasArts? Oh, yeah. def at, definitely at LucasArts it was, for sure. I think that was because Tim didn't want to have like the UI highlighting stuff, mm -hmm. right? Or he wanted to try something new? Yeah, it, it was yeah. partial hint and partial probably red herring, right? Oh, um, yeah. Like uh, just yeah. show the player that they're in the direction, point them in the direction of interesting subjects in the environment. And I mean, it shows you everything you can interact with and not everything you can interact with is a solution either, you know, so. There's no UI in this game, if, if anyone d didn't notice and that was by by design. <laughs> it's all the eyeballs. Can't reach. <laughs> Mockingjay's got all the eyeballs. I need to hit the button. Bring the button. I know I can talk to Gladys. Why won't I? Gladys, do oh, something. Go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him. He's awesome. All right, now we need to move the ship. That way? Or were we in the wrong direction? I think we're in the wrong direction. So I need to bring it up. This one's like a little bit tricky. And then bring it down again. So that we are now straight down. And then we take this and we go boom. And we go that way. Is it gonna go the right way? This way? There we go. Now we're actually moving. Okay. Yeah. And then. And then we go over here. And we drop our anchor down. And then we. Bring it back up. And then we take our... Oh, there's another uh, thing over here. Hold on, we gotta listen to the... We gotta listen to the commentary. One weird trivia fact about the world that I learned. I, I was, um... I saw a couple of Manny Calavera tattoos when I was at mm -hmm. PAX. And someone asked me, why are there no Glottis tattoos? And I started Googling and I couldn't find a single Glottis tattoo on the internet. I found many Manny tattoos. And so, I don't know why Gladys... I'll just say that on the internet tomorrow. That there Hopefully need to be, be yeah, more yeah, Gladys yeah. tattoos. I agree with that. Yeah. I don't know. If I'd get a Manny tattoo. A Manny and a Meche. Why are all my apps disconnecting? It goes to screwing with my phone's internet. I didn't do it, I swear. And then we're gonna rip the ship in half. Look at that beautiful anchor. Well, there you go. Oh, mocking Jay. Mocking Jay. It was, it was all mocking Jay. And then we go to this side. And we're gonna rip the ship in half. Oh, wait, wrong. Why did he go to that? Okay, I don't know what he's doing, but. Gladys, cover your ears. <laughs> He didn't give up much time to cover his ears. Oh, poor Gladys. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. Let's go, and then we make our escape. Boom! Let's go. They look like they're from uh, Men in Black, kind of. Oh, they called it Lola! Aww. Just a little farther, Gladys! The Shadow Claw on the cover. Look 
goodness. All right. Now we're underwater. Again, it's Day of the Dead, so of course we're underwater. <laughs> Manny, choking! Mira, snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say, you don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. The, um, the sort of whale sounds in the music are, um, overblowing on the contrabass clarinet. Oh, yeah. Wow. Ray, uh, Ralph Carney doing his little, that's the same thing with the, the birds that, that jump up at you and surprise you. What? And squawk. The ship sinks and the giant shark shows up. Plot twist. I definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. This is a lot darker Beware, than I remember. brave captain. Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool uh -oh. of light. Oh. Heed my warning or take one step forward and learn for yourself. All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? Alright, now what? Ah. Comes one now. It's our, it's our, oh, Chipito? So he's been, he, uh, this is like a play on uh, moth navigation, like they say that moths fly into lights because they're, they're used to using the moon for um, navigation and they're not used to electric lights. And so he's um, used to using the moon for navigation, but he's been distracted by this thing called the pearl and it's made him go walk, mark, march in circles all these years. All right. Um... We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. I didn't mean to do like two at once, but I thought I was gonna miss the the thing for the voice thing for the director's cut, so I, I hit it. And I don't know. Anyways. Can we borrow that light for a second. Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, can we borrow you? Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my leg, and try to sing it. I need a drink too, This man. little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed no. no i'm gonna let it shine let it shine <laughs> let it shine let it shine scare away, away sea, sea monsters, monsters yeah. yeah i'm gonna, I'm let, gonna, it gonna let it shine scare away sea monsters yeah away sea i'm monsters, gonna let it shine i'm gonna let it shine scare away sea monsters yeah i'm gonna let it shine 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 i'm not gonna let you touch it no i'm gonna let it shine i'm not gonna let you touch it no i'm gonna let it shine not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Oh man! Look at them walking back there. Just gotta wait for them to come back. I might want to go grab some water. I wasn't planning on. I was thinking of like stopping at year three, but. I might continue on. If I go get some water, maybe I'll feel a little bit better. Because I am a bit exhausted. <laughs> it's only been five and a half hours. I thought that looked like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like he was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. Uh, could check into the pearl. What are you doing? Um, what are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Could you take us to the pearl? Could you take us to the pearl? Ha! 
You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl Shiny shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Blah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. Because you've been walking in circles, my friend. How you doing, Chinese? I know, this game came out in 98. This game is super old. But it's still good. This is the remastered version, so it looks a little bit better than it used to. But it's still a great game. LucasArts, man. They came out with some really good stuff. Um... Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicaba for a boat. Figured it'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? How you doing, Chinese, by the way? I hope you're doing all right. Uh, how do you know where? How do you going? know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. But oldest trick in the book. Uh huh. Good, getting ready to eat. Oh man, I need to eat. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's past my dinner time. Um. That's why I was like debating not finishing the game, but I want to finish the game today because I don't want to have to like come back to it. But no, really, the pearl is right over there. You poor sucker, that's the moon. Tell that's me you didn't moon. come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> um, is everything okay with your eyebrows? Is everything okay with your eyebrows? <laughs> Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind though; they're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? Oh man. Um... Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. Yeah, have a good dinner. Have, have good... What are, you, what are you having for dinner? I was gonna have... I have some pizza. We had pizza last night, so I have a little bit of leftover. I mean, it's leftover frozen pizza, so it's not anything special. And then it's like one piece of that, and then I was gonna make some chicken nuggets with it. And have that for my dinner. <laughs> Great dinner. <laughs> uh, can you send for Could help? You send for help. Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way: I wasn't always this color. Oh dear. <laughs> What's the problem with boats? We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Uh -huh. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. Wow. We started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. That sounds terrible. What happened in the end? What happened was, I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, never, ever go to sleep. That's how he died. <laughs> Thinking Robinson's fruit creations, orange and mango flavor. That sounds good, but I have no idea what that is. But orange and mango together are fantastic. Three sloppy joes. Oh man, that sounds so good. That's a lot of food, M Maki J. You could just down so How much food. How did you get that light going all these years? Well, I found this coral, this glow-in-the-dark coral, damnedest thing. Glows like a lightning bug. It never seems to wear out. I had some of that once. Made a nice grappling hook. I don't think you had what I got, because I don't think you've been to the place where I got it. Mockin' Jay, are you tall? Is that why you have, like, I know you're skinny. You're like, you must have a high metabolism, but are you tall? Because you don't, don't take offense to this. You don't look tall. People, I mean, people have said, I look tall, and then I'm like, I'm like super short. I'm like, I'm a miniature person. I'm not that miniature, but, you know, I'm tiny. I'm much shorter than people assume. Some people assume. And like, I know you can't really tell because people are like, you're sitting in a chair, but. Where'd you get the coral? Edge of the world, boy. That's the only place it grows. Well, 
I don't want to break your stride. Okay, we need to grab okay, him. See you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These, These guys? <laughs> oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> right, These little light grab of him. mine. I'm gonna let grab it him. shine. Grab this him. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it there shine. There we go. I like how this he stops for us. <laughs> Pull him. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Oh, you're six foot. You are tall. I didn't realize you were that tall. Benny, is that? That makes sense though. Because you're so skinny. Whiter someday. I'm rich, 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 rich. Shh! Something's happening. Benny, what's going on? It's much easier for you tall guys to like eat a ton of food and be like super skinny. Or I can't do that. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. Unless I'm like working out a ton. Which uh I don't wait, where is the I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. You know, Tim's really into black velvet. Yeah. Um and when I showed up my first day, Glottis first day of work, there was a black velvet uh, kind of <laughs> canvas. I, I don't know what it was. It was like this uh, kind of like a, you'd get it, you'd win it at the fair kind of thing. And it was like the Grim Reaper on a motorcycle with Mount Fuji in the background with these eagles flying out of it. Yeah. And, um, and it was just pinned to the wall above my desk on the project. And for the entire project, we really didn't talk much about it it was just kind of there and uh and then when i moved on to the next project after it i left my desk exactly the way i had found it with the thing pinned up to the wall and the whole thing and uh, uh and then tim came and gave it to me I, st I still have it in my office right now but he he was like that's the mural that binds together full throttle and grim Vendango because it's the I love grim full reaper on a motorcycle Gladys, go down there and talk demon talk to that octopus heck no i'm scared I'm staying up here with you. Right, Calamari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what that is. We're gonna get us some fried calamari, guys. Hey, Chipito, it's gonna be a lot of fried swim, calamari. You? You're drawing too much attention to us. Too bad. I'm sticking to you like the barnacles on my eyebrows. So don't even think of sneaking off with my pearl. Pearl? I'm Your not going pearl. down there while that monster's looking right at me. Alright, we gotta go over here. We're gonna... This is what we gotta do. We gotta attract the... Oh, he's looking at us. He's watching us. The eyeballs are coming this way. Alright, so we... Just go over here. Hey, hey, Chipito. Yeah. Just like that. Hey, Leo! Alright, run. Something? Do we... Lego! 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 Run, Manny! Hey, where are you going? You can't leave me here all alone! Come back here! I know, I love I love some good fried calamari. Let's She's go. Coming back. <laughs> Imagine an octopus doing this in real life. That would be terrifying. Just a giant octopus controlling a a submarine. Going to the edge of the world, guys. This world is flat. And we're on the edge. Manny? Don't ask, Carnal, because I don't know. Alright. Can we, uh, can we move? I can't move. Oh, there we go. And this is the part of the game I feel like is a lot more inspired by actually City of Lost Children. Children, yeah, right. Which was that came out around that time, had mm -hmm. a big influence on us. There's uh, that's what? I think that's why we have a marching underwater diver too. 
Like there's what? a lot of scenes in City of Lost Children where there's a diver just marching mm -hmm. on the floor of the ocean. It just seems so dramatic and just his made this slow and steady pa like um, slow and steady progress, but he was so heavy and th and thick. No flying I'm fleas, though. No flying fleas. <laughs> what? I've never seen that movie. Or whatever they're talking about. See any hint of that octopus swimming around here? No, but I can smell him. <laughs> you can smell him. You can smell the calamari, guys. Gladys, I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid hey. octopus. Thanks, Mocking Jay. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Have fun with whatever you're doing. And have a good rest of your night. Bye. Tim had the coolest office. He did. <laughs> it was filled with like tiki lights and oh, it right. felt like you it was like Christmas land. Not Christmassy, but it gave you that same feeling yeah. of decoration and uh, hominess. Yeah. I was gonna say warmth, cool yeah. Bar. Hominess. There's a couch in there, which was always nice. Yeah, and I think I probably overstayed my welcome in there a few times. Yeah, what? I think we all probably did. You, you never knew when you were, when you should leave because it was so much fun in there. But then it's like, oh man, he has work to do. Yeah, it's no <laughs> one, no wonder he had to work through the night. It's yeah. because we would we'd bother him his all the time. office was like going to Disneyland, and you just yeah. sit in there and talk on the couch and just want to be a part of this uh, this creation. Yeah. I had some old game consoles in there, and I would go and talk classic games with him because he knew that I was an enthusiast as well. So that was fun. I think he should have made his office more boring. <laughs> <laughs> he did spend a lot of time in that office. How's his office now? I've seen pictures. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's it's like a grown-up version of that office, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> He's still got a, all his Rubik's Cubes on his desk. Oh, I forgot about the... I forgot yeah. he was a master of the Rubik's Cube. He is. Really? Yes. They have a day. Don't challenge him. Well, I would never. Uh. Oh, more. Are the three stripes on the back of Manny's head? Is that hair? No, it's just a lazy, lazy design, lazy design <laughs> element to match the the front of his head. Oh, Wait, and the tops of his hands. Remember? There's yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. There yeah. Too. Day of the Dead decorations, right? Yeah. I never knew what it was. I just thought it was cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it does look Adidas cool. Adidas homage. <laughs> oh, the, the music's very intense. So might as well just come and sit back sit down for a, a cigarette before. Manny, what are you doing here? It's Meche! I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. Oh, no. Gladys! No! I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, cabron. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. Oh, this music, too, is really Careful, good. Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. Why is his mouth moving? What is his mouth doing? <laughs> I think he's broken. Mm -hmm. I always thought those girls were so cute. I just had to um, be mean to them. 
Like once um, when my sister got her tonsils taken out, and she had big puffy cheeks. Mm-hmm. I remember my aunt came to visit, and she goes, oh, you look so cute. I just want to be mean to you. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? I never really understood it until I, um, we had these little baby angels in the game. I just, oh, I just want to just terrorize them so you can get out your scythe and scare them and do all these horrible things. What? It's the, it's the Mr. Bill sick. and uh-huh. the Mr. B- Mr. Hands and all of us. Uh-huh. No drawers. Apparently we can scare them. Angelitos is actually um, the little children in the cage. Comes from a term that it was a popular kind of um, well, it was traditional in, in Mexico to take pictures of your children, if, even if they were died very young. Yes, yes. Like photography of it's little a, dead it's children. Whole in genre. Yeah, it's I don't really? know what happened in the states, but it was it was definitely in, in Mexico. Mexico, done. yeah, I've seen those. I think you and showed them to me actually. And I, they're, they're, and the, they use they, the word they use for children when they di- when they're when they're young when they died is, is angelitos. Oh uh, yeah. Mm. It's a dark dark game. It is dark. I I know they like used to take pictures of like dead people with the families where they would like prop them up and then take photographs of of that Hola, back in the day. I'll bite you, I swear to God. Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. But I don't think it was like specific to children. I think it was just specific to the time period. I don't know. Don't quote me. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. A bone saw? You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our Our parents? parents? (laughs) Uh oh. No. Hey, hey, don't cry, children. Oh oh, no. Stop crying. Oh, please stop. My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Harley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Harley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man. Yeah, go away. Mitch is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're going to be sorry. Oh, man. What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Aw. Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. Um... My hands are not too big. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? My butt's too big. My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Meche you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. <laughs> I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> oh. I can now have hammer. <laughs> um. Alright. Okay, back to work. So mean. Uh huh. Alright, give me that hammer that fell down. Gotta put that away for later. But who knows when you're gonna need a little tiny hammer. Alright. I know these, this year and the next year, I feel like I'm the least familiar with. But, let me talk to Meche. Look, it's my prince charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more or do you just want some ice for your head? Jeez, when did you become so mean? I mean, it has been two years. See, I, I like that you still are not quite sure about Meche. That happens a lot in those Oh, no, Totally, the, it's like, just like uh, The woman Casablanca. is like, wait, is she in leagues with a bad guy or is she um, right. being controlled and being blackmailed by the bad guy? Yes, a testament to the fact that they're written by men. <laughs> Nervous laughter. <laughs> That's a lot of laughing. Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. 
I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. I don't have a gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. They didn't. <laughs> I think we need to talk. <laughs> I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Honey, <laughs> why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. Um... I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Dominic has explained it. it all to me already. Hold on. Was that it? Uh it didn't register. You have a lot of explaining to do. Ooh, me? About what? Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's oh. trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. How do I make this smaller so I can put it... I'm gonna put the trophy thing over here so I can see when I win it. I'll just move that. I don't know if it's gonna refresh, but... Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> uh... So why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. She said the line that the trophy is called, so I'm very confused why we don't Domino have that. hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. <laughs> hey, I'm a savior wow. now. We have to wear this stuff. Still didn't register as getting it. And I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Yeah, because. Yeah, because that's not in the. Hmm. Mitchie, how do I get your trophy? Tell me. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? All right, well, I have no idea. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, people, you know, a lot of people may know this already, but for those that don't, the, the game is just a big pre-rendered picture. There's no 3D geometry in the game that describes the walls and the, the doors and the tables and, and all the props that are in the game. That's just a picture, a painting that's drawn in the background. Uh, so somebody had to go in manually and kind of make what we call walk boxes, but they're in 3D space. They're like a little model that just describes in 3D space where, the, where Manny's allowed to walk. And if you turn the background off, they just look like they're floating in space. There's hmm. nothing there and there's boxes for walking there's boxes for shadows there's boxes for triggers that um uh trigger like footstep sounds and and things like that um yeah but yeah the image you see on the screen when you're playing the game um there is no real geometry there so getting getting the illusion that manny can walk in between tables and bounce off of walls and, th and things like that is all smoke and mirrors <laughs> okay, 
I don't think we can. So there's a way to get her stockings. But I think Sir, we have do to. You have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Lemans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, Hector I think Lemans. it's time for a little corporate restructuring. Come on. Ooh. You can't hear what he's listening. What, what is Domino listening to on his headphones? In your mind? Oh, he's. Li uh, it's. It's not just what is. We you can actually, actually have like him listening. He's listening to his own theme, <laughs> and it's and it's it's um it's done as a headphone. Uh, it, we didn't mi mix it so it would sound like headphones. It's very quiet, but he's listening to his own music. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Domino. Domino. Taking your first coffee break already, Calabar? Oh, you can hear it here. Poor settle, is he? You know, if I ever spoke to my boss, Hector, that way. I was going to say about the music, where he reveals the whole big conspiracy theory. That was a that was a hmm. jam between the cello player and the um, and the contrabass clarinet player. Oh yeah. Basically, the idea was that since it's a whole con a whole complicated conspiracy that you, they would just jam and jam forever on the same theme kind of mm -hmm. weaving it out mm -hmm. you killed my best friend the demon <sighs> manny you can use a demon as a driver let him carry your messages let him serve you food but you can't ever start thinking of them as friends it's just not natural we got all the trophies yay I think it just took a minute to like actually register, but yay! Even though it says 47 to 40, I guess we don't ha get the one that's like the trophy for getting them all. Yay! That's exciting. All right. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. Why don't you just sprout me like you tried to put a sapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. Yeah. What makes you think I'm going to work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work. Take it from me. And think about it. Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. <laughs> don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. Uh-huh. I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns. I have all the transportation. And I have all the brains. What are you going to do? You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh, no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double-end tickets, now can we? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would root all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard <laughs> at the pearl. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod, which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that j Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away, but I fixed that. I'm taking Mecha out of this dungeon. Manny. Before I found her, she spent a year out there in a petrified forest alone because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon. Wouldn't you say? Uh... One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. 
We never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. But you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned oh. the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Alright. I actually think I'm gonna end things here. I'm getting really tired and I need to eat. So I'm gonna save it. We might come back to it at some point at the end of this month. I do want to finish off a lot of the games we played last month. So I will probably be playing that, those games more than coming back to this, as well as um, the Pokemon we didn't finish beforehand and the Super Mario Odyssey eventually I will come back to and get the last like, I think it's like 12 moons that we're missing or 11 moons. It might even be 11 moons. Um, so I'd like to finish every game that I've started, you know, the past couple months this month but I don't know if that'll happen but I'll try my best anyways but yeah it's been six hours and I need food so I'm gonna end stream here so I hope you guys at least enjoyed this somewhat you know so and uh, we'll come back and we'll make it up we've basically been working on hundred percenting everything which means like going to talk to everybody and try to interact with everything and do the director's cut so that's why it's been taking like so long. I figured there's probably at least two hours, if not more, left. Because we have this and we have the next year, even though those two years are shorter than the past two. I still think it's, you know, at least a good two, probably even three or four hours. So, anyways, I'm gonna go eat and I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. And I'll see you tomorrow where we'll be playing. I think I'm gonna do Luigi's Mansion tomorrow. I think it's the plan. So, I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.